All right, guys. BLM here. Back. Another live stream. Yeah. Plan is to finish God of War tonight. Hopefully the internet isn't shit. I'll be honest. I'm really fucking tired. Um, so we'll see how this goes. But um, whatever. Let's go. Um, I'm really... We don't... I don't think there's that much to talk about. I mean... Like, what's happened since the last time I streamed? I feel like most things nowadays are happening between Monday and Wednesday. I did watch the challenge episode. That's something. Um, I finished the quarry. That's the thing I did. Started my BB4 rewatch. Um, yeah. I don't remember what else, but... Um, in the middle of a heated debate... What, what's the debate? Okay, that's great. I was not looking at the screen. Uh, what's the debate? Um, yeah, I, I'm like really tired for some reason. And it's like, it's weird because like, actually the last couple days I've been sleeping better. Like I, I've been like, because like back when I had vacation and everything, like I, I was like really like, I, my sleep schedule was like completely fucked to where like I wasn't going to sleep until like at least 5 a.m. Uh, I've kind of kind it back now to where it's like two to three, uh, I guess it's closer to three. Um, but for some reason, I feel more tired than what I was um, otherwise, but um, whatever. Uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes. I forgot it was Sunday? Yeah. But, uh, oh, did we get a challenge? I didn't know we got a challenge AE trailer. I have not seen it. Actually, no, fuck it. Should I, should I see it? Tia kept secrets too. For good reason. Did it come out today? Tech people. It is I feel like to uh, I would have seen it if it came out it's earlier. Uh, I did finally like take a bit of a look at um understand and do the same lad. Don't fret. At the global championship stuff, the casting stuff. Um which is like weird who's in consideration, who isn't. Um oh, where do you find the trailer at? Your Insta got deleted? I can believe that. Uh, Bryce is a mastermind? I mean, I wouldn't uh, go that far. 43 uh, boot order has been mediocre. I mean, like, obviously, it's just been a whole bunch of women, right? Oh, is this it? Do we have a date yet? It's just November. They still haven't, like, had an official date yet. Okay, this literally just looks like a generic challenge season. Yeah, this just looks super generic. Actually, this kind of looks like World War of the Worlds esque. I, mean, I guess it's also like, yeah, that challenge is directly from USA. I love like they're putting a whole bunch of names like starring these people. It's like, yeah, I definitely know who these people are. Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm not that excited for Australia. Realist, like, real, I'm not excited for any of the spinoffs. Um, mainly because I don't know who the fuck any of these people are. I, I should say, Global Championship, I'm kind of interested in. Um, it, I think it's gonna be a fucking train wreck. But, um, I'm interested in seeing how it plays out. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, this trailer looks fine. It looks very generic challenge. Um, yeah, I noticed also Marley's, uh, supposedly in the running for, uh, Global Championship, right? So that means that he's, he more than likely does well. Uh, because, like, we still don't know the winners of any of the spinoffs. However, like, they know, like, who's in contention for Global Championship. So, like, that doesn't necessarily rule out, um... Uh, what's his... Marley from winning. But even beyond that, it's like, yeah, it seems like he, uh... He might do well here. Uh, I'm not gonna review them all. Just, I, I don't have the time. But, uh, it's good. Yeah. Uh, I will say, like, after the first five episodes, I was like, okay, it's good. No. Um, I wasn't like, okay, this is the best show ever or anything, but like, it was good. Um, I think these last three episodes, again, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really liking them all. I, I still think the format's shit. <laughs> like, I don't like the format of the show. Um, 
But uh, I like the show itself is fun, and it's, it's weird because like the format of the show is actually kind of like what makes it good to a degree. The fact that like they're um, like there's no like because my issue with it is the fact that there's no like social strategy aspects, like direct social strategy aspects to it. There's no voting people out. Uh, and that sort of thing. However, because there's no voting people out, it allows these people to do whatever the fuck they want and not care about, <laughs> like, other people voting them out. So, it's like, it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Um, but I, I've been enjoying it. I, I'm gonna talk about it in the, uh, you know, reality television. Uh, I do want to, I, I, this, uh, so watching the last three episodes, it's kind of convinced me to, I think I'm gonna watch the rest of the mole at some point. The problem is I'm, like, pretty busy right now of watching other shit. Like, uh, right now I'm doing the B4 rewatch. Uh, at some point I need to start the Sasuke rewatch. I don't know when I'm going to do that. But uh, I would like to do some sort of mole video. Um, like, uh, I don't know if it'll be, like, a ranking of all the seasons, of all the U.S. seasons or what. But, uh, yeah, I would like to talk about the mole at some point. Beyond just that video. Imagine Marley being global championship winner. That would be fucking weird. I forgot, was Marley... What was Mar... Like, was Marley like a sports guy? I don't remember anymore. Like, I know he's like athletic and everything, but like... I don't... Like, did he have like any major sports background? Okay, yeah. Uh, do I think 43 has a better cast than 42? Um... I think it's around the same. Uh, I think, like, to properly know, I think we'll maybe have to wait a little bit, because I do feel like there's certain people that are still a bit, like, underutilized in the edit. But my guess is it's around the same. Uh, like, I think, like, the standout of this cast is Cody, where, like, I think the standout of, like, 42s was, like, uh, Marianne. Um, I think they probably have, like, equal amount of, like, like not necessarily duds, but, like, just probably people that are going to be super memorable, um, like, by the end of it. But, um, yeah, I mean, like, I, I think it's around the same level. I think really all the recent casts are around, uh, the same level. Like, 39, exception dance below on. And I think, like, I think for me, though, like, out of the recent casts, I still think my favorite's probably 41. Um, like... I mean, Carla's good too, yeah, but like I, I just feel like she's not like the like this massive sta standout character. Uh, like she's not this like wacky character, I should say. To where like she's like a bit more normal than uh than Cody. How's B4 so far? Um it's it's fine. Again, like B4 like is a season I used to hate. Uh, and then in my last rewatch, I started to like it more. I think I'm still like around there. Um where like it's it's better than what I used to think of it, but it's still not, like, my favorite season in the world. It's still probably, like, out towards, like, I mean, how many seasons? There's 24 seasons, so probably, it's, like, probably, like, 17 or 18 on a season ranking, somewhere in that range. Um, maybe you could debate a little bit higher than that, but, um, it's, it's fine. Like, I, I'm only up to week two right now, so I got to the Michelle, I, last episode I watched was the Michelle Eviction, uh, and really, this is, like, the peak of the season. Uh, and it's like, like week two, week three, I feel like, and then it kind of starts to go downhill after that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's an interesting rewatch. Cody's very normal. I mean, obviously. Isn't it a lot simpler if they want us dead because we're gods? And they think we're a threat? I suppose we can't really Cody versus Carl and similar to Tony versus Tim. Uh, Kim, uh, probably. Or potentially, I should say. Uh, I do think that, like, it definitely felt like they were setting up a rivalry, right? To where I feel like there's going to be a battle. Um, it's going to be interesting to see who wins. Where, actually, I don't know who would win. Um, where, like, I think, like, conventional wisdom would say Carla. But... I don't know. I'm kind of, like... I think the more time goes on, I'm like... I wouldn't... Like, I'd be pretty happy if a Cody... If this was, like, a Cody winner at it, I think that'll be a really fucking, like, funny story for the season. Rank all 10 BB Can seasons? I mean, I'm pretty sure I've done that, like, a billion times on here. But it's probably, what, like, 5, 10? 
nine, two, six, three, uh, four, one. Probably four, one, uh, seven, eight. I think that's the ranking. B4 goes downhill after a Nathan eviction. Yeah. That's kind of the point where... Because, like, and also, like, it's really dragged out by that point. Because they're still spending an entire week uh, when there's, like, nothing going on. Because, like, BB4 is also weird, too. Because, like, the season's, like, dragged out um, because of the Scott ejection. They're no better than us. And they're gonna be sorry they picked this spot. Uh, which again, the sky ejections still were like really wild when you think about it. And they didn't even show everything. It's like he was like going on this rant about how he like revealed that he had like a STD and everything, right? And that's uh, part of why they kicked him out. But like they didn't show that on the show. Thor, Is BB Can 11 gonna be all stars? I'm leaning blame towards no, but I would love it to be. Yeah, I, I was like super low on Cody preseason. Uh, I, I would love it if he won. Like, I, I would really love it if he won. Uh, Edgic predicts. I, I, yeah, I don't think that's. Cody's not. Like, if Cody makes it to the end, I think Cody wins. Like, I don't think this is a story of Cody losing at Final Tribal. Like, that would be such a weird, like, edit to me. Um, should pay for what he said about Mother. I said no. But again, I think oh, Cast God. like Casty for me has jumped up after the last episode. I still don't fully like buy into the fact that she's going to win though. Like there's definitely like it feels like the likelihood is definitely more than what it was after episodes one and two for me. Or in three. This is episode four, right? Yeah. Um but I'm still not like fully buying into her winning. Thoughts on Nate from Cook Islands? I love him. Great character. Love and see him play again, but probably not happening. Do I think my thoughts on Pearl Islands would drop when I rewatch it? Um, we'll see. You lost control. Hopefully not. I mean, like, I did rewatch. Um, you been teaching me to kill? I've been teaching you the. To what was it? Oh, the um, family visit. So obviously the grandma lie, uh, and that's fantastic still. And then I rewatch the final immunity challenge, which is fucking hilarious. I forgot how great that final immunity challenge is. It's like one of the funniest scenes like I I've seen in recent history. Um, to where again, like I, I literally just like I think ever since I like the Amazon rewatch, like all these things I've been rewatching. I think the Pearl Islands immunity challenge is the thing that caught me like the most by surprise. Um, like I, it was so fucking funny. Like I forgot how like yeah like um like Fairplay continuously trying to make a deal with Lil and Lil just like like going on on like random tangents. Um, it's again, it's, it's hilarious. Yeah, I found like the David Amanda stuff is so fucking weird. Like it's so weird that made air. Whatever. Which I guess they wanted to highlight like, oh my God, it's the first time people have sex in the house. But it's like, it's really like a nothing thing. Uh, like, it, it, like it's so weird they even bothered to air that. Where it's like, and obviously, like nowadays, like that's literally nothing. It's like people are like, uh, people are having sex all the time in the Big Brother house. So, uh, what game are we gonna play next? Um, what game am I gonna play? I I don't know to be honest. I'm debating between like there's two different paths, essentially. Where, um, so next up is going to be, um, so I'm going to be playing games I'm going to be making videos for early next year. So there's two, like, trilogy of games I need to play, essentially. Um, there is Tomb Raider 2013 that I need to play. And, like, when I play that, I want to play the other Tomb Raider games just for sake of it. But, um, there's Tomb Raider 2013, and then there's the Quantic Dream games. So Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls, Detroit Become Human. Um, however, the debate for me is the fact that Tomb Raider 2013 is technically the first one of those videos that's going to come out. Uh, that's going to be at the end of February, it's looking like right now. Uh, while the other ones are March, April, May. So, like, that's technically the first one to come out. The problem is that if I play that 
first, then I have to play these. Like, and I'm going to play these two other games that I, I'm not making videos on immediately afterwards. Um, so it feels like I'm kind of wasting time there. So I'm kind of thinking of doing the opposite and playing the client dream games first and then doing Tomb Raider. So I like, I don't know. We, so I, either way, it's like it's either Heavy Rain or Tomb Raider 2013 is the next game we'll play. Not 100%. But I'm thinking we're going to do uh, Heavy Rain. Uh, I will say after... Oh, yeah. So I did finish the quarry. Uh, and I fucked it up so bad. Like, I really fucked it up. Um, like, I had all but one character die at the end. Uh, okay, this is shit. Uh, so, I really want to replay it. I'm not going to bother replaying on my own time, though. So, again, I, I'll stream it at some point. Uh, I did say we're like it would be cool to do that Halloween, but uh, it's a bit soon. So, I'm not, like, uh, fully committed to doing it Halloween. But we'll definitely, like, after I finish all these games that I want to play for videos, I think that'll definitely be the first thing we play. You missed the BB can ranking? Okay, it's what? 10, 5, 9, 2, 6, 3, 4, 1, 7, 8. I think is the ranking. Yes, everyone, like, why am I not? Like, I love how I've been having internet issues for the last, like, week or so. Yet now, like, for this stream so far at least, I'm not having internet issues. Yeah, it seems like everyone else is having internet issues. Uh, I'm not. I'm about the same on the Big Brother Four. Like I'm, I'm higher from when I, where I was when I did my first season ranking, but I'm not higher from where I was um, before my last free watch before this. Okay, I did not mean to do any of that, but cool. Where's Paris? Uh, she's top five, right, on the BB Cam player ranking. Oh, you're supposed to go here or not? Oh, yeah, that's the Valkyrie, right? Or is that the Valkyrie over here? Valkyrie's somewhere around here. The opinions of Will and Lisa as a winner go up on a rewatch. It actually went down for both of them. Uh, Lisa, like Lisa in particular, I think went down because like Will, I never had like a high opinion of his winning game. But like Lisa, I feel like my actual opinion of um. Of her winning game actually went down after the rewatch. Where it kind of made me realize that, like, she really was not actively trying to do any of the things that she, like, uh, that got her to win, essentially. Do not heed my lessons. Uh, should you play Red Dead 2 or Skyrim? I mean, I like Red Dead 2 more. Where did you get your fire boots? But. Why did you hide them? Again, you do you. I already answered the Am I Higher on Big Brother 4. Answer is no. I'm the same. Uh, do I think the 43 cast of sexes are racist? No. I, mean, I think in general, like, the fact that women are being voted out, I think that's mostly consequence. Like, I do think the Mariah vote is one that you can point out of, like, okay, that was more so because of, like, uh, this, like, need of physical strength. But, um... Like, yeah, I think the Justine thing is, like, mostly on Justine. Um, Naka, again, that's physical strength. And then I think Lindsay's all Lindsay. Uh, so, like, I don't think it's, like... I think, like, some of it is consequence, but obviously some of it does lean into the... Uh, the physical strength aspect of it. Reddit 2 is really fucking long. Yeah, but it's great. I mean, like, it, there definitely is, like, filler in it, though. But it is still great. I, I'm, like, we're going to play it at some point next year on stream. That should be fun. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't fucking hate it on the replay. Uh, you've been rewatching Pearl Islands recently. I think a player rank for that season would be much higher to put together than other old school seasons. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I think one is going to be... Is one going to be fair play? Yeah. 
it'll probably be fair play. Like fair play and Sandra, I think will be the top two. Um, and then, I mean, who's third? I think that's the big question. I don't even know who third is. Like, is it? Like, yeah. would it be Savage? Boy. Or like maybe Rhino? I don't even know. Like, well, who the fuck is third on that list? Actually, it's kind of a fucked list. Okay, this Brothers is not where I want to go. The tunnels I'm seeing in the walls up here show signs of I'm like, but Burton, like, Burton would be high, but like, also he was voted out oh, <laughs> and came back into the that. game. Um, How'd that go? Like, he was literally what the fourth boot that had to come back into the game. So it's like, oh, it's kind of tough uh, with his placement. Not yet. Well, like you have Savage who gets like massively screwed over by Outclass, uh, and Rhino, same thing. Um, I'm really like all the like, I'm like all of them, but Dara, I would say, of the Morgans got screwed over by the Outcast twist. Because like, too far, Dara probably places the same. It probably doesn't change anything. She's, she was fourth in the pecking order anyway. Um, But again, more than likely, if the if the outcast twist didn't happen, then uh, they get to merge five v five, where Sean flips over, and uh, Morgan was more than likely sticking together. I really don't see them doing what Drake did and breaking apart. To which again, Dare was on the bottom of the pecking order, and it was uh, Rhino and Savage had a final two. It's like more than likely Rhino and Savage would have been the final two, which at that point it's like I don't know exactly who wins. I would assume maybe Savage, but I don't know. What if Austin gets medevaced at the merge? Um I, mean, I forgot Austin would be actually that that means Darrow would be at the bottom. It would be even worse, wouldn't she? Um but then, yeah, I guess if Austin gets medevaced. I mean it doesn't matter. It's the same. Because uh, uh, Sean would still flip. It's 5v4. It just means that... Um, it's Rhino as in... Uh, R-Y-N-O. Right? Yeah, his name is Ryan Opre. Uh, but yeah, Burton did the Survivor equivalent backdooring yourself. For him. I mean, like, he did like the Drew Christie, right? Of like throwing the immunity challenge and then getting voted out immediately afterwards. Uh, do what if every uh, winner was medevaced at the merge? Uh, maybe. Why am I doing this? Do I actually... Is this better? Better luck, better defense. Actually, this is better. I don't like the look of the armor, though. It looks kind of shit. Okay, so that's worse. That's kind of better. Okay, I never bother to actually get any of the New like Game Plus armors. Game. Or, like, bother with it beyond, like, looking at it, like, once. And nah, those are worse. Those are worse, okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, I, I think, like, yeah, Burton, Lil Austin. I think those three are, like, really weird to place. Um, especially because, like, they had, like, zero win equity. Oh, yeah, at least for Burton and Lil. They had zero win equity unless they were against each other. Mind you, like, Burton, like, was, like, but then again, like, was Burton trying to, I, I actually don't know. Like, would Burton have taken fair play to the end? I think so, right? To which he would have lost. Oh, did you want to say something? No. Here you go, little people's little arm. Something else for you, then. Wait, did I not equip the one that I just bought? I don't think I did, did I? Yeah, I didn't. I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, we were playing the uh, the women boots on a three chart format before we won. Yeah, I don't think it's necessarily like it's. I think the format like is a factor, but I don't think it's the determining factor. 
like it's a factor in the sense that like obviously like I think people are, are going to be like looking at like the like quote unquote physical strength and through that they um wait can I swap these oh, I have to do it like manually that's really fucking annoying I don't even know what I want to use here. I don't even know why I'm bothering. Like, I don't need this. I'm just wasting time. Oh, uh, whatever. Would you need to be next boot? I think if Baka goes to Tribal, I think that's, the like, the most likely outcome uh, from where I'm looking at where the season's going. Like, I think probably it's still Geo, I think, on... Like, it's either Geo or Cassidy, I think, on... Uh, on what the fuck's that? Coco. Uh, I think it's still Janine, more than likely on Baka, and then I, I don't think Vessi's going to Tribal. Like that. Like I could be wrong, but like I I don't really see that. Wait, have I had a better one this entire time, and I haven't been using it? <laughs> uh, whatever. Oh, I've had a fucking legendary thing the entire time anyway. Oh. I'm glad I'm still... Let's Ryan or Nicole be at the bottom? Probably... Probably Nicole? Yeah, probably for like a player ranking like that. Like a player ranking of the season, Nicole would be at the bottom. But Skinny Ryan's probably the worst player just in general. Like on uh Like if I were to... Do, like obviously when I get around doing the ranking of every Survivor player. Like I think Skinny Ryan would probably be below Nicole on that. But I think, like, Nicole played worse on her season. Can't afford any of those. Don't want any of those. Don't want any of those. Can't upgrade anything. Yeah, still don't know why I'm even bothering this. But whatever, I'm right here. Um, so these are only things that you've, like already done, right? Okay, I'm sure whatever. We'll back. move on. <laughs> uh, where Paloma be on a uh, ranking? Uh, I don't, like, obviously I haven't put together a list yet. Like, I mean, she's obviously still, she has to still be low, just because, like, we don't have as much, like, to work with as a lot of these other people, but, um... Yeah, like, I, like, I don't think she would be, like, Towards the very bottom. Skinny Ryan's the best? I mean, I guess so. Uh, I mean, he wants uh, jerks to die. So that's something. Uh, who do I think is the best player to have been voted out of the game in return? Like, I mean, Burton's probably up there, right? Like, as in, like, the game that they played on the season that they returned. Uh, yeah, like, I think Burton is up there. Come on, you two. Ah, like, what, what would be Someone's another answer? Unnerving. Like, at least yeah, with Survivor, it's like, is there even another answer, Survivor? Oh. Survivor US, I should say. Uh, because... Like, I guess Chris. I mean, like, how, how do you rate Chris, I guess? Uh, but, like, obviously, like, Burn had, like, a lot more game to play. I mean, I, I would not say Natalie. <laughs> I would say Natalie is actually, like, probably one of the worst. Nearly there now. Finally. I'm probably not one of the worst, considering there's other, like, ones that have just been voted out immediately. But to be fair, she would have been voted out immediately if she didn't have idols and everything. Um, game? Or am I waiting for him? I guess I'm waiting for him. Cool. Uh, yeah, the, I think I am gonna just do the the Big Brother player ranking next year. End of next year. That's uh, what it's looking like, the plan is. Um, I, I even put it on the schedule. Uh, I think I have it for, like, 
November of next year. But again, obviously, it's still a ways away. Oh, is it literally just those circles? No, I'm just a fucking idiot. Cool. Um, where I think the season's going? I mean, the survivor season? Yeah. Like, um... Like, I, I think Vessi is going to all make the merge together, is what I think at this point. Like, I, I, I'd be surprised if they go to Tribal Beautiful, again. And, like, if I they do, I guess they probably lose Dwight? But, like, I think they're more than likely going to get to the merge together. Um, and, like, I, I think probably the other two tribes, they're probably going to lose, like, one person each, probably. Um... So like if it's Baka again, I think Janine's probably likely there. Uh, though it's too fair, I would not be like surprised if it's like potentially like Sammy. Um, or I think that's it. Yeah, it's Sam I think it's Sammy or Janine more than likely. Janine though. Uh, other tribe is again. I think it's more likely Geo, but could be Cassidy. Um, But again, like I, I think, like a lot of the like this, my my expected boot order uh, in terms of, like general spots of where I expect people to go. I think Ellie will probably be like a little bit after the merge. I don't think she'll be the merge boot, but I think she'll probably be like like nine, ten, eleven, somewhere in that range. Um, I again, like Jesse. Actually, Jesse, I still don't hundred percent know. I think Carla will probably be like final five, final six. Uh, I, I think she's like the Omer of the season. Um, like again, Jesse, I don't think is winning either. I don't know exactly where Jesse goes home though. Calm down, boy. You are not ready for this. Like probably, like I don't know. Like seven seems like a number that's screaming out to me, but like it's not. That's not really based on like Edric necessarily. It's just that, like I don't know. Like I don't. I don't and think he's I winning. And it's like, if he's not winning and Carla is the person booted at like Final 5, Final 6, then he has to be booted before that. So it's like, I guess 7? But would have been... I mean, Vanessa played fine, the problem. Like, she played well the round she came back from Survivor SA. Uh, the problem is that she wasn't trying to win after that, though. Uh, are Moranians smart? Yes, very smart. Uh, way more intelligent than everyone else in their system. How many Scooby-Doo movies have I watched? I mean, I've watched the live action, the two live action ones from back in the day. Uh, I loved uh, Cyber Chase. Is that the video game based one? I loved that one when I was a kid. Uh, I, and I've watched like a couple random ones here and there, but I'm not like a big Scooby-Doo, like super fan. Uh, I did not see your All Star 4 Dreamcast. Uh, by the way, All Star 4, I believe, is casting right now, right? Which, uh, I think Gamer said that they're calling pretty much all the same people. <laughs> oh, fuck, I was just being an idiot. That kind of looks ridiculous, but fine. Ow. What? Okay, I, I thought I had that. There we go. Oh. Uh, but I also started writing the Amazon script, which I will say, um, taking way longer than it should. Uh, considering I've, like, throughout the entire time I've been watching BB4, uh, I've essentially been, like, trying to work on this Amazon script. And I, I've watched eight episodes of BB4, and I've literally still not done with episode one of the Amazon retrospective. Oh, fuck off. Okay. So that's kind of worrying. I mean, like, I have nothing going on tomorrow, though. So, like, that's kind of what my plan for tomorrow is. Is to just watch BB4 and work on the Amazon. Okay, this is just me being a fucking idiot at this point. Uh, like, what the fuck? I'm, like, pushing all the wrong shit. Thank you. There we go. What the fuck? Uh... Uh, 
Yeah, the greatness of Skinny Ryan. Yeah, the, uh... Actually, where is... Is Skinny Ryan anywhere? Like, I know there's, like, photos of him being, like... Like, not skinny anymore, right? I'm pretty sure that's the thing. But, like, outside of that, it's like... Does anyone know where the fuck Skinny Ryan is nowadays? Pre-jury, post -jury for Big Brother? It's not until a long, long time. Like, that's next year. Like, I'm literally not going to touch them for a while. Like, I recorded it, but I'm not going to bother editing it for a while. Again, they're not coming out for a while. Uh, like, there's other stuff that's coming out sooner. But, like, those are videos, like, in the lead-up to 25, essentially. Too busy, uh, the greatness of Ryan Aiken, obviously. I mean, I... I it's too fair, that is a part of the reason. <laughs> that is actually, like, kind of part of the reason why it's taking so long. Is because, like, I, I remember the, like, so I know there's a lot of, like, behind-the-scenes stuff of Ryan Aiken, of, like, why he was targeted. Um, and, uh, because that, I was like, well, I feel like I need to re-listen to certain podcasts to, like, remember exactly what it all was. So, like, I did end up listening to Survivor Historians, and then also I listened to parts of TEOS. Uh, for the, like, premiere of the Amazon to remind me on, uh, the Ryan Aiken stuff. It's over. Which, uh, yeah, he did, uh, ask, uh, Rob sister Nina, are you gay on day one? So, uh, that's something. And also he, like, pissed off, uh, like, this is something I knew, but I didn't remember the exact details of, but, like, um, that a lot of the reason why he was targeted first was because he was uh, he pissed off Roger in pre or in the in the Ponderosa pregame. Like supposedly it was because like he was sick, uh, like he got sick from like he got like food sickness essentially, and um, he like made a lot of noise like going back and forth between the bathroom uh, at in the middle of the night to where. Roger was just annoyed with him coming into the season. Yeah, Ryan Aiken and Shannon, I think that's definitely a comparison to me. I do for Shannon's like older. Uh, well, I mean, I, they're probably actually around the same age, right? But like, I'm older as in when they played. Boy. I'm here. Stay still. You will listen to me and not speak a word. I am your father. And yeah, I, you, boy, I don't care about mit, uh, Minecraft, to, to be honest. Um, I never got into Minecraft. This will not stand. It's like Minecraft be, got big like when I was like towards the end of high school. And like I played it and it was like, eh. Not really my thing. This discussion is far You're surprised Dan Liu wasn't the first boop saying he single handedly lost some challenge? Yeah. The show never explains that, too. Never. He's like, from the show, it's like, yeah, you would think that, oh, Dan's definitely going home, right? He's the one that's, like, fucking up everything. But then, no, it's like, for some reason, they're targeting Ryan. Better player, Ryan or Shannon? I, think I had Shannon on my top ten worst while I didn't have Ryan, so. Wow, it's cold. This is hell. Like, that's kind of where I stand, but, like, place in Ryan's still bad. Place. But again, like I think, like the fact that again, like he was targeted by Roger from pregame and stuff, it's yeah, like, there. like some the sort of leeway there, uh, where like Shan doesn't really have any. <laughs> where Shan's just like completely shit. Have I ever watched the Ernest movies? Um, I think I watched a couple when I was a kid, but like, I have like very little memory of them. Okay, I guess. Boy. That wasn't me. Uh, I can't build shit for Minecraft. Yeah. Yeah, like, I just... I don't know. My, like, those sort of games just kind of bore me. And that's why I play, like, a lot of these, like, single-player, like, narrative-based games. Just because I feel like of me when playing a game. 
I just need like something to be happening at all times. Uh, like, I don't want to be, like, left to my... Like, I, essentially, like, I want the game to tell me something. I don't want, like, me to have to create my own experience, essentially. Like, I want the developers to be giving me an experience instead of me making my own experience. Everything's better at bounce beams, Dan Lu or Chris. To be fair, Dan Lu was not that bad. Like, Dan Lu, like, is just an idiot and kept on, like, going off too early. Um, so I, I would say Chris is actually worse, right? And did they ever get past, like, did Chris, did Chris ever get past the bounce beam? Yeah, I haven't watched Vanuatu in a while, but, like, I don't think he ever finished it, right? Right, at least Dan Lu finished it. Yeah, I feel like I've watched uh, Goes to Jail. Yeah. I think it's the one I remember what, that I've watched. Yeah. So this is a Dreamcast, right? So Landon, The Miz, Frank. I mean, yeah, like, it's a good group, but it's exactly that. It's a Dreamcast. <laughs> like, this is like, uh, I feel like almost no one here is like even in the running to to actually be on All Stars Four. Like who here is even like maybe on? Like I think like maybe Frank Sweeney. Uh like maybe bananas. Maybe Dan Renzi who you have an alternate as an alternate. Um Like, I was, I'm talking about the, like, new people, by the way. Um, because obviously, like, the people from, like, before that are kind of, like, are somewhat likely for most of them. Um, yeah, like, Evelyn's not happening. I would love Sarah Grayson to come back. I think that would be interesting. I, I think Julie's, like, kind of likely, right? Like, she wants it, right? So, that would be fun. Probably won't go to well. Where am I going here? Oh, do I climb this? Is Dan Lewis a shit player? I mean, like, he's not great. But, um, I think it's, not like, the old and sick uh, it's like, I think there were other, like, circumstances around him. But, like, again, like, I think I'm dating not great. Escape hell as soon as possible. I'm not gonna let him but, like, he also, like, almost like pulls off a flip. It was just an illusion. Uh, the issue is that, like, Alex no. didn't want to do it, but, like, uh, he technically had Rob wanting to flip the game at that point. So at least there's that. And, like, he had Matthew on his side. You will follow orders. But maybe that's not who I am. It had better be. Now let me focus. What's the other thing you do here? Oh, okay, I, I remember now. Okay. Don't mean to hurry you, but faster. Let me think. Uh, will CT ever do All Stars? I mean, like, I, didn't CT give an interview recently that he's like retired? Like, I think that was was it Devin's podcast? He did like a podcast I know recently where he said that he's officially retired. Which is like, again, how much do I believe that? I don't know, but um, like, I think he's probably done for a little bit though. And to be fair, it's like by the time like he isn't, it's like how old is he gonna be by that point? Like he's already like forty three or something, right? It's like even if he wants to come back in a few years, like he's gonna be like nearing fifty. Uh is your BB rivals cast? Alright, let's see. So what you got? You got well, you're having Haley and Rachel as rivals? Well, you didn't want to put Angela? Um, but I think both of them are, like, could happen. I don't know how much Haley wants to do it, but I think Rachel would for sure do it. Uh, Christian and DX, sure. Uh, Polly and Big Meech, sure. Uh, Marcellus and Danielle, no. Marcellus will never do it, I don't think. 
and Danielle, um, like, I, I think you could get Danielle back, but um, like, I, I don't think you could get Marcellus. Uh, Vanessa and Austin, again, I think Vanessa's not looking super likely. Uh, and Austin probably not likely either, considering his his like wrestling career and everything. Kyle and Tiffany, like obviously, um, Kat and Kemi, I don't think they want Kemi, but like could happen. And then Zach and Devin, I mean, I don't think they want Zach at this point. But oh, I would say like a lot of that cast is like like probable in just a returnee season. I would never Stay out of sight. Don't think they want Angela. Um, I mean, uh, like for Big Brother, like I, I wouldn't like completely rule it out. Challenge? Don't think so. But um, I think Big Brother is like a semblance of a chance. But I think realistically, yeah. Like if they wanted her, I think they would have brought her back for twenty-two. And, like, from my understanding, she wasn't even in the running. Like, they called Tyler and only Tyler. Um, so, yeah, I, I think more than likely. Uh, I mean, maybe, but, like, I feel like Angela kind of came out. Like, obviously, she had the, like, the ghetto comment, um, which was bad. But, it's like, outside that, I feel like Angela kind of came out of 20, uh, BB20, like, kind of, like, looking good uh like I, I think like obviously her relationship with tyler and everything like really helped her and like i feel like like maybe she would like uh it would be like a tyler bb22 thing of like they want to promote their brand uh and i think angela would probably be more like like stable <laughs> than tyler on the return but uh yeah like i probably not looking great though it would be a star of my personal nightmare survivor cast. I mean, I don't know. Who, who don't, who would I like really get annoyed by in Survivor? Like if it was Big Brother, like BB Can, like Suzette, 100%. Um, but Survivor, I'm not even sure. Like, I don't know, maybe, uh, I mean, like yeah. Dance Velo, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Sir Gresson said at one point that she considered doing all stars. I mean, she was in the uh, she was in the documentary, right? So yeah, maybe there's a chance. Yeah, he's his mother. Why did you keep this? Like, I, I wouldn't bank on it. Though. I believe it slipped my mind. I would not. Uh, I'm at a loss. I'm sure you have no reason to keep such a thing a secret. Oh yeah, BB Twitter hated uh, level we six, speak but. More of this. That's Soon. BB Twitter. <laughs> but also, like, there were, like, the, the Tangela stands out there, though. Oh, we're at the ship already? Oh. What was Angela's ghetto comment? Um, what was it? It was, like, she was talking about how, like, uh, she's, like, Hand it too much and like her skin's getting dark and she like said I'm looking ghetto or something dumb like that I think that was like what she said which is like yeah kind of idiotic I mean John A said, said that she's taking a break but like she's like listed as a confirmed person for her for global championship so it's like I don't, know, I, I don't necessarily believe her. I don't think, like, I think she's more than likely not going to be on, like, All-Stars 4. But I, I don't think she's, like, actually going to be gone for, like, a really, really long time. Thoughts three episodes of the mole. Again, I, I, I'm enjoying the mole. Um, I, I thought it was a pretty solid episode. I'm mean, batch of episodes. Like, I, I think the mole's like, if I were to get, guess who the mole is, I think it's probably uh, Kazi at this point. Though I would love it if it's not, because I think it would be a surprise to me. 
because like to me it's like I feel like she's like the only option like only like option that feels like like possible unless it's like a complete out of left field like will um pick I don't think it's no I don't think it's joy I think joy might be the winner I'm too sure she could also be the next boot considering uh she's up for elimination but uh I think Joy, again, if Joy wins, this is such a fantastic ending this season. Uh, are the Moranians exploitative of the other planets in the system? Uh, Just bear in mind yes. That can only take us part of the way. I mean, yeah, like entirely yes, but um, and the, the system's not that all that it seems intact. to be. We'd still need to sail up is the Borneo Final Mini Challenge top tier? Yes. Uh, it's it's very, 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 very high. Yeah, because it was designed to fly. This was not. Nevertheless, this is the boat we uh, Lauren texted me that she hates her boyfriend and wants to smash the price. I'm sure that's, uh... I'm sure that's exactly what's happening. Uh, oh yeah, I did watch. Yeah, so since last time I was here, I did watch the Riot Die premiere. I thought it was good. Like I don't think it was as explosive as the um, as either the Double Agents or the other one, Spies, Lies, and Allies premieres. But I thought it was a solid premiere. Uh, I, I feel like it. It did feel like a lot was like kind of left out. To where like it kind of comes out of left field of like why are Kayla and Sam being targeted. Um. No, it, like I feel like there was definitely like things that like it felt like they didn't fully explain, but outside I thought it was a. Uh... Oh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, it's the where is it? But I, I thought it was a solid uh, episode there. We'll see how it goes moving forward. Next episode is going to be like all in on bananas, you would assume, right? He's probably going to get like a whole bunch of screen time. What am I doing? Like I know I'm supposed to go there at some point, right? Oh, was this? Wait, what? <laughs> okay, cool. Um. Uh, I mean, like, I haven't fully fleshed the Moranian, like, Tales from Morania out uh, to where I'd feel comfortable doing that. Uh, thoughts on the Bills getting revenge against the Chiefs? Um, good for them. <laughs> Don't want Sam to come back? I wouldn't be opposed to it. I, I, like, Sam seemed fun. Like, I, I, I like their dynamic. Di ah, I like their dynamic. There we go. Um, but they had some, like, fun banter in their confessionals. Is Jay doing well? Um... Like, he's doing kind of, like, he's aligned with the people that won the daily. He's kind of, like, outside of the the Vet Alliance. Which, it is funny that, like, there's talk about uh, the Vet Alliance, yet the people that are, like, the leaders of the, like, non-Vets are also technically Vets. Um, because, like, Jay, Michelle, and, and Amber B are, like, the people that are, like, the figureheads of the non-Vet Alliance, yet they're Vets. So it's like, okay. Who from Mole would make a good transition to challenge? I mean, uh, probably Will, right? Will, Avery. I think Avery would be good. Um, who else is there? Who else is left? Jake? Jacob's kind of... Like, Jacob's boring. Um... Like, Joy is fun. It's just that she's, like, 40, right? Like, she's on the, like, higher... Oh, Dom, Dom would be good, too. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm trying to look up everyone. Our ship's lodged on this bridge. Sure I can't help? I said stay on the boat. Staying on the boat. Yeah, here. So, Avery's 26. So, yeah, she's fine. Uh, yeah, Joy's 40. So, it's, like, I don't know, it's kind of on the higher end of things. William's only 29, so yeah, William will be fine. Yeah, I, I think them and then Dom. I think that's probably... I mean, like, oh, 
oh, I don't even know fucking the first boot. Like he seemed kind of challengey, but like I just know nothing about him. God, okay, I guess that worked for some reason. God damn it! I also find it really ridiculous that Colleen went in lying about her being on the mole. <laughs> when, like, the cast was out there and everyone, like, could look up the show she's from. Uh, but whatever. That was funny. Mm. Oh, am I an idiot? I didn't fucking do the first part of it. Okay, well, that's that's great. Cool. Game of the year so far, I mean, like, Horizon Forbidden West by a lot. Uh, I think the only game that can beat it is God of War Ragnarok. Wait, how do I push it off again? I don't remember what I'm doing here. Whatever. Yeah, Colleen was the mole. And it's weird, too, because, like, Jack, like... Talked about how like oh yeah Colleen was on the mole she was the winner it's like no she was she was the mole uh, which I I think is a hundred percent like they don't know what the fuck the mole is um, oh it's this okay stuck on this over here. there we go Wait for me there. is AU Blubber's Water one of the worst reality shows of 2022 yeah uh, I think it's the worst out of the competent ones. I forgot, well, actually, I'll, I'll look it up in a second after I get this done. Um, I, like, I'll look at my list. Okay, yeah, let's see. Uh, because obviously I have it up here. Yeah, what is the ranking? If it would open. Um, okay, yeah, so I have Blood vs. Water above... Amazing Race AU, Celebrity Big Brother, and a and 14. But that's it. I have it below Big Brother Australia 20, uh, 2022, so... Yeah. Uh, it's not great. I mean, like, when Big uh, when I have Big Brother AU above uh, Australian Survivor season, like, that's pretty sad. <laughs> Atreus. Uh, if they did a test to reboot in the modern day, would I go on it? Not really. Like, it, there's no pro like the prize is a job. <laughs> it's like, uh, and it's like it's literally like an entry level job in the gaming industry. It's like if I wanted to be a video game tester, I could just be it now. <laughs> like, I don't need to be in the fucking uh, reality show to be a video game tester. I could literally just like apply now to be a video game tester. Yes, my son. It is time. No. Yeah, Panda Express for dinner? Well, that's something. Um, Panda Express has gotten, like, kind of expensive, I, I feel like. Do not know. Where I got it uh, a couple weeks ago? And it's like, it's over $10 for, like, a regular meal now. It's like, what the fuck? Hold on! Uh, where Brainster's Brawn rank amongst AU seasons? Uh, I think my top three are Brainster's Brawn, AU2, AU Championship Tennis 1. Like, that's my top three. And, like, I'm not even, like, 100% solid on, like, what is my number one anymore. But... Oh, God damn it! I always hated this section. But yeah, Brains vs. Bronze like one of the good ones, in my opinion. Is Traders A I have not watched Traders AU. Did it start? Uh, I know it was starting soon, but like I didn't know if it started yet. I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna bother watching it. I like. Like, I have enough other shit to do than watch Traders AU. Especially because, like, it's not even like it has reality TV people, right? I don't know. I 
five thousand dollars. That's the prize. Like there is a five thousand. Like there's a like a uh, monetary prize, but it's only five thousand dollars. I will free up. Yeah, I feel like I'm good. Like I'd rather just do a better fucking show. <laughs> Like, I, you literally make more from being the first boot on Survivor than the winning the tester. <laughs> Actually, then again, I guess that's like technically including the reunion thing, which I don't know if that's still on the contract anymore, but still. Because again, you get paid 10000 just to show up to the reunion, which I guess like that might not be a thing anymore. Wait, how do I rank them? What is this? Why do they took this long to make another iteration of the genius? Uh, I, I just don't know how interested these other countries were in the format. Um, so what we got? Terry Dietz, Kenny, Russell Hans, and Paul Walker. Well, I mean, obviously Paul Walker's at the bottom, right? Um, like, is this as a player or as a character? As a player, I would say Russell... Kenny Terry. But as a character, I would say probably Terry above Kenny for me. I want to do a video on the tester, but I don't know when uh, I would get around to doing that. Uh, Tiffany from yeah, I, I know it was still a thing for the last like for 41 and 42. I don't know if it's a thing for 43 and beyond like when like now they know that they're not doing it So they might take it out But I'm not 100% But either way, I mean like yeah, you get 10,000 just for showing up to the reunion um, So it's like you get double the amount um, Oh, I need to take this off. I'm fucking it get double the amount of the prize money of the tester to just show up. <laughs> yeah, I have heard about the Bayonetta uh, controversy. It's just really fucking weird. Um, like, I feel like there's, like, so many weird things going on with, like, all of that. I'm not doing a Glasshouse player ranking. I could not be fucking bothered. As long as we maintain this speed and those fires don't go out, we should be there in no time, lad. I can hear them, but I don't... Wait, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that... Okay, none of those are hitting? Cool. That's great. Whatever. Oh, yeah, Prime Sam Al <laughs> Alex Stein would be number one. I mean, like, it's, like, probably, like, relatively close to boot order, I, I would feel like, right? I don't know, like, obviously, like, I mean, just at the end of the day, it's like the Glass House is like a game that's like hard to assess because, like, no matter how hard you play and how optimally you play, you can still lose, considering at the end of the day, all it is is just a popularity contest. Wait, why won't let me. Do I not have my axe? Is that why? Osei, you're talking about the, that's the first boot from Mole. For All Stars 2, Jody, uh, for you was not top 10 female. Oh, All Stars, oh, okay, of, uh, I, I was thinking of, uh, of Jody from Big Brother 14 and Big Brother All Stars 2. I think Alex Simon would do on Big Brother, not well. I think same thing as the glass house. Isn't Alex Stein like now a big like like alt right person? Wasn't that a thing? He has this, like really big like alt right YouTube channel or something.
Uh, James Simon probably got more money for sure. Yeah, actually, I, I, I wonder what happens to James Simon in all this then, yeah. It's like, because like... Oh. Okay. It's like I fucked it up, but like, how far back does it put me? Hopefully it's not like a ridiculous... Checkpoint? Oh, whatever. Uh, how long uh, were I crying when I found out Floppy is on? Who the fuck is Floppy? But I'm obviously devastated. I Floppy's not. <laughs> why did Alec uh, post a picture of him and Kara? I mean, fuck it. That's why. Oh fuck off! Hit the thing. I, I could not tell you a single fucking person on the challenge Argentina. Like, there literally isn't a show that I'm probably going to watch moving forward that I care less about than the challenge Argentina. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably watch it, but, like, I really do not give a shit about it at all. Like, if it was not, like, connected to the challenge, uh, I probably, like, I would definitely never watch it my entire fucking life. I mean, I we'll, we'll see when the merge is. Um, my estimation when the Mitsu's Bow ranking is is the 29th. I think that's the date. So two weeks from uh, from this last Saturday. But we'll see what happens in the next time on after this episode. Like if it turns out we're getting a merge at 13, then yeah, it'll, it'll be this week instead. But more than likely, one the next two weeks. Yeah, I remember there was like, a, yeah, there was like an old person on. I, I did remember that. Which one's at two percent? I'll see you later. <laughs> uh. Kratos for, uh, or Dante, like, who wins in, like, a fight? Like, I would assume... Actually, I don't know. I, I Like, I would assume Kratos. But, like, just because, like, I mean... How's Kratos not dead already? <laughs> um, it's, like, considering all the shit he's been through and, like, he survived all that, like, I mean... But, then, like, I'm assuming he's gonna die in Ragnarok. So, we'll see. I can't wait for Ragnarok, though. I'm really, really interested in seeing what they're going to do with it. For our character, Dan or Tony? We're talking about Dan Foley? Or what? I mean, like, Tony. But Dan Foley is still, like, really funny. Oh, we're talking about Dan Geesling now. That I means Tony still. <laughs> because I think there's like, to me, it's like Tony, like, because like with Tony, it's like, Tony is like genuinely that person. It's like, Tony's not like hamming it up for the show. Like he is genuinely just that person. That's who he is. Where like for Dan, it always feels like Dan, Dan is like hamming it up for the show. Fuck off. Okay, there's some weird flickering there. Bringing on who will win the World Cup? Uh, it will be that team that is in it. That one. I literally could not even tell you a single fucking thing about the Wolf Cup. Would you believe magic? Is there not another one? I thought there were three. 
Got a player and character out Dan Foley and John Robert. Um, like, I don't know. It's like, I think Dan Foley played the better game. I think, like, realist. Like, I could probably see John Robert having more upside on any given season, though. Um, yeah, like, as a character, though, I, I would say Dan. Because, like, for me, like, John Robert, it's like, he's a doofus, but I think there are points where, like, the stuff he does is still, like, kind of icky. But, like, for me, Dan Foley, like, even though he does, like, have some icky comments and everything, it's like, I can never take him seriously. It's like, I, he, he's fucking Dan Foley. Um, I don't know. Because, like, with John Robert, also, I think it's, like, a factor of, like, John Robert's, like, like, also, like, a bit, like, touchy and like has like those sort of issues where like Dan Foley is mostly just like he's just a fucking idiot <laughs> uh what's the survivor 43 power ranking right now um I mean like Carla and Jesse are one and two but like they're not it's not because like I actually think they're going to win it's more so just because like it feels like they're edits have the most merit to them right now, but again, I don't feel like that's the way that Survivor actually edits anymore. Um, I forgot what's after. I think it's like Cassidy, Cody, and Sammy are the next three. And I think I think Owen is next. And then Noel. Oh no, it's Noel next. And then Owen. And then James. And then Dwight. And then uh, the people at the bottom at that point. This we were art in Reddit too. Uh. Like, the Guarma stuff, right? Yeah. It's like, that stuff, like, just feels almost entirely unnecessary. Like, obviously there is a point. But, like, I feel like they could have easily, like, told it in a different way. Uh, and not, like, bloated out the story that way. But, yeah, I, like, the Guarma part of the game is, like, the part that I'm thinking is, like, why is this really here? But really, I mean, like, I think the entire, the entirety of the game has, like, aspects of, like, okay, this doesn't need to be here. Oh, wait, am I... What is this? Yeah, I don't care about really any sport. Um... I mean, Survivor's my sport, or Sasuke. Oh. It is time, my son. Look around at what you have done. John Bear is the only good TV because Courtney's there. And, like, even then, though, I'm mean, like, it is kind of, like, I feel like it's, like, I, I haven't watched China in a while um, to fully formulate this opinion, but, like, like, I think when thinking back at it, on it, it's like, John Bear, like, feels very, like, 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 outside of, like, him being, like, this big doofusy figure, is, like, is there that big of a difference between him and, like, Dan Spilo? It's just that he's also, like, an idiot that the show made fun of as well. James is winning. Um, I don't know. It's, like, I, I want, like, I would, like, I think James winning would be, like, a pretty solid outcome. But, I don't know. I'm losing faith as, a. Uh, the show goes on. Israel banned the airing of Amazing Race 34. Why? I think that's kind of random, right? Amazing Race 35 should be filming next week. Yeah, so that more than likely means... I mean, I guess you never really know, but... Um, I don't know, are Taylor and Joseph going to be on it? 
Like I would have assumed that they were, but that was your plan. No. You're both cracked. What you is this section this again? Well. Now. As long as we didn't wreck our way back. At least he gives the American me the idol, yeah. Should Survivor Big Brother the amazing race to challenge me at the Olympics now? This is Odin's. I'd recognize his Why am I low in the comments as a player? I'm not necessarily like low, I'm just not high. Uh, like, I don't think she's a bad player, but I don't think she deserves like all the praise that people seem to give her for like the creation of the back door and like all that stuff um Odin must have stolen it. But, why? but yeah like she played a solid game in big brother five but uh, like not really uh like an elite game this is most unexpected why what does it mean i haven't the foggiest isn't that unexpected good Look clearly that Who from Mole has the winner? I, I, I think if I were to say, like, I, I think Joy or Avery probably. Uh, I'm kind of leaning more so towards Joy, especially considering, again, I think Kazi is the Mole, and Joy's been getting the most content about thinking Kazi is the Mole. So, like, I just feel like it makes the most sense. Um, but also, it's like, it's down to Joy and Jacob, right? So, in for the next oh. elimination. So, like, if it turns out to be Joy, then, like, obviously that means Kazi's not the mole, and then everything's, like, fucked. His eyes. Um, but I, I'm assuming Kazi's the mole, and Joy's the most likely winner. But if it's not that, then more than likely it's Avery. Because at that point, that means Jacob is more than likely the mole. Um, and Avery seems to be more in line with that. Yes, <laughs> something better than a million dollars is a million dollars some ass. Yeah, what... what what a what a great quote, obviously. What is that? Um, Secret plans concealed by tears so none could access but him. And those few others the giants trusted. Yeah, he's the bad boy uh what what do you call himself? Was it the bad boy poker or whatever? What do you mean, Ed? You said we were out of options. Marvin's true mastermind, yeah. I mean like Marvin like so I believe the timeline of everything is that like um, because like this is also something that I think is like kind of lost in all this in the backdoor creation is that the backdoor creation could only happen starting BB5 like it was a little it was literally a thing that was created at the first point that it could have been created uh, like it's not even like like even like just the creation of the backdoor is not even that impressive of a thing um, like literally like because before that in bb3 and 4 everyone played in the veto so you can't backdoor someone properly um he made this door himself so um yeah like bb5 was the first time it was limited to only six people uh, and obviously they had the rule of like you can pick like the player the nominees and the hoh get to pick one person each so it's like that was the first point where like you could even create the backdoor and Mike Lubinsky is the first person to even mention this concept, which he was the literal first boot. So that means that this is something that was created literally like right away, like right away when this could even be a, like any semblance of a possibility. It was already thought of. Um, but yeah, like Mike Lubinsky, I think like mentioned the concept of like, oh, why even nominate your target when like you could like use the veto or whatever and put him up later. Uh, and then I believe Marvin was the one to like fully formulate that in the J in the Jace week, um, and like essentially create the right, like play by play of like how exactly to do it We're to Nokomis, and then Nokomis just does it because she was told to. Um, and to first, she had the numbers and all that stuff, and again she was in a decent position at that point in the game. Um, but like, I, I think like the entire like creation of the back door had like. App, like pretty much nothing to do with Nakomas. Um, am I going back? Is that what I'm doing? Why did poker suck a survivor? I mean, I mean Anna was not shit. Now, okay. Anna got screwed. Why did you not tell Again, us she's is the son of a questionable person outside the show. <laughs> but uh, Anna got swap screwed. Uh, and is was in a good position with in her group. But yeah, the others suck though. <laughs> 
How's that, brother? Good. And it's funny that actually, yeah, the best one of those four are, is the one that wasn't as much of a poker player. Physical or magical. Well, like, the other three are, like, legitimately, like, it's big poker players. Like, Anna knows. Kate is just kind of a, like, it's pretty much like an amateur, right? Can you make it? Oh, yeah, Adam, yeah, from a and Survivor. Armor? Or likewise, an instrument I feel, has there been a good a poker player? I mean, obviously Vanessa and no, Big Brother, but like... Then forget it. Um, Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant Google, I, I guess, like, most good, like, there's been a lot of people, people that have, like, played these games and then later became poker players, right? Like, John Party, Arlie, I, oh, yeah, Kevin, I guess Kevin. But, um, yeah, Boston Rob became a poker player afterwards, Tyson became a poker player afterwards. But again, they didn't play poker, like, when they, uh, first played. I guess Dominic. Was a big poker guy, right? I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> but uh, there's definitely a not a great uh, track record. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Looks, you think Kazi is the mole? Um, it's just like out of the people left. Uh, like I feel like her edit feels like what you would expect the mole to be. That and also wasn't there this there was this hint of. Like in the room, there's like these like letters that are on there. That's like N C K. Um, that I believe, like when you like, uh, when you're looking at it as a clue, like that's essentially like Kazi's uh, initials backwards. I think is what it is. Um, so like that's also a thing. Uh, yeah, Kazi's name is Kezi Neblet. Um. So, like, I'm pretty sure that's her initials backwards. Um, and, like, just in general, it's like, again, like, out of the people left, it's like, I I, I was thinking it was Casey at start. I, I felt like, like, okay, they would, like, COVID nurse feels like the type of person they would make the mole. But um, where we're at now, where Casey's gone, um, we're left with, like, Will, who I'm pretty confident isn't the mole, unless, again, like, unless it's, like, completely out of left field. Uh, I would be surprised if it's Avery as well. I feel like her uh, content feels very non moly as in like she's uh, gotten like a lot of content about like tricking people into thinking other people are the mole. There's no fucking way Joy is the mole. Uh, and then it's down to Jacob or Kazi. And I, I think Kazi like – or I think Jacob considering how prominent of a, like a theory of him being the mole is on the show, I feel like it's way more likely it's Kazi. I think more likely Jacob's just a fucking idiot, uh, and it's like a terrible actor and everything. I think that's like I think Jacob's like uh, kind of like recognize that other people um, might think he's the mole and like he's actively like playing towards that to a degree. But yeah, like, I just feel like all of the, like, like everything clicks with Kazi uh, being the mole. Who do you think is the best player of John Robert, Garrett, Ronnie? Um, I mean, John Bear obviously makes it the furthest. Like, I feel like Garrett is probably the one that has the most potential. Though, also, I mean, considering the stuff that's going off Garrett now, I mean, who the fuck knows? But, um, but I, I would probably say Garrett has the most potential of the three, but obviously plays, like, the most, like, actively bad of the three. Oh, wrong one. Uh, which player is the, uh, is worst core? I mean, like, again, like, I don't think you can compare Big Brother to Amazing Race. Uh, first time you saw a new Call of Duty gameplay, it took you a couple seconds to realize it was gameplay of a new game. That was, I mean, isn't that like all of Call of Duty pretty much? I mean, it is Modern Warfare 2 though, right? So it's like, 
I guess you would expect it to look similar. Just obviously, like, better graphically. Oh, you don't know. Garrett Alstein's in the okay. news nowadays. Um, he got, um, so he was, like, I guess playing with the, an amateur, and, like, he lost uh, against that amateur. And then supposedly, like, threatened her. Like, and he accused her of cheating and stuff, and supposedly, like, threatened her to where she eventually like, gave him the money back but now there's like this big controversy over um like whether or not he did it or not like whether or not like she was cheating and whether or not he like like he was out of line like i don't know there's like a lot of shit going on here i don't um but uh i think it plays into like uh what you would expect from considering his run on survivor boy Okay, so we're towards the, the end now, right? It's just this and the final boss battle, right? No, this and then... Oh, no, actually, we have a little bit more. Yeah, it's this puzzle section. Puzzle-ish section. Um, then... You have that, like, fight with all the realms and everything. And then you have to go inside the serpent. And then it's the final boss battle. Right? Oh, wrong button. Uh, I, I I've actually never watched Who Done It. I always planned on doing it, but never got around to it. Yeah, I mean, like I I would like to watch it at some point, but uh, because like I always wanted to do like some sort of video on it or something, but like, I don't think it'll be immediate. Paying the room for you for World Championship. I mean, uh, very few people are like we can confirmed, right? What now? And, like, most people are, like, people that were on the recent shows, but, yeah, let's look up the, uh -oh. the list. Things are happening. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're attacking. All right, here we go. Oh, so, again, confirmed for um, men. You got Danny, obviously. Johnny Bananas, which, obviously, and then, obviously, the other winners, which... We don't know yet. Uh, Rider Dies is included in this. Which, again, won't spoil that. Um, women, you got Amber B, which, fine. Again, don't, uh, I'm not opposed to it. Jean A, cool. Casey, boring, but I, I guess like in terms of like a challenge competitor, I, I think she qualifies. Well, the Kellyanne is like, why? Like, I think, like, to me, it's like, I think the thing that I would want from this cast is that I would want everyone to have at least won something. Like, you don't necessarily need to even win the challenge, but, like, have at least won something. Um, and, again, for Kellyanne to be there feels weird. Like, I like Kellyanne. Um, wait, what am I doing? I, I, I'm an idiot, right? Yeah, I need to do the other thing first. But yeah, like I, I think Kellyanne's like casting there change, feels a bit off. To go see to it, um, Kellyanne won our hearts. I mean, I guess. Um, but yeah, then you got Sarah, obviously Sarah Lucina, and then yeah, the other winners of all the shows. So again, that's fine. Um, people up in the air. Yeah, Abram, cool. Adam Larson, sure, why not? Alton, I mean. Again, I, he didn't do the grace in All Stars, um, but fine. Uh, ben Dreber and whatever. I mean, sure. Uh, Brad, cool. Uh, CT, that'll be cool. I kind of doubt it, but it'll be cool. Dan Seltzer is like really random, um, but sure. Uh, Dan Renzi, cool. Uh, I mean, like I don't know. Dan Renzi, like it doesn't really feel very. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, it doesn't feel very like world championship-esque for Dan Renzi. Like, he definitely feels like All-Stars 4 um, instead of world championship. Where, like, for world championship, I, I feel like this should be, like, a serious event. That this should literally be, like, the best of the best going against each other. And, like, again, is Dan Renzi the best of the best? I mean, <laughs> not really. Um, but, yeah, I, I would love to see him back. Um, but, yeah, Darrell, cool. Derek, cool. Uh, Emmanuel, like, why? Um, Frank Sweeney, cool. Grant, something from Leviathan, I, I don't care. Uh, I, I assume he was on Challenge AU, right? 
Uh, Hunter, fine, I guess. Um, Jamie Murray, fine. Uh, Jordan, I mean, like, I, I think, like, like, I'm not a big Jordan fan, but, like, I, I think for something like this, he definitely fits. Uh, Josh Martinez, I mean, <laughs> I guess Josh fits into my criteria of, like, he has won something, but, uh, yeah, do we need Josh Martinez for this? Probably not. Kyle Christie, I mean, I think we're good. Um, Landon, that'll be great. I don't expect it, though. Uh, against some Challenge Argentina people. Marley, cool. Mark Long, um, yeah, why not? Uh, MJ, cool. Nam, <laughs> why? Uh, Nehemiah, again, like, I like Nehemiah, but, like, I don't know if he should be on World Championship. Uh, again, more Argentina people. Rogan, I mean... Sure. I mean, I got like, I mean, kind of has like said some Mickey things, but uh, I do like him as like a TV presence. Um, Cyrus, I mean, like, again, like, I, I think it's another one of these, like, where it's like, like, kind of like a Josh. I mean, like, where it's like, eh, he's technically won, but again, it doesn't really feel like to the caliber of this, the rest of this group. Um, again, Tony hasn't won, but again, I, I would like to see Tony back in some capacity at some point. Uh, again, Turbo, fine. Uh, Tyler, fine, even though he's not that good anymore. Xavier, I think that'll be fine. Yes. Um, again, I think Yes should be on there. Um, I, I'll be disappointed if Yes isn't on there. And then Zach, which is like, whatever. Um, kind of uh, surprised there's not more... Like obviously, like we like USA, we know that like the cast did not like their experience. Um, but I am kind of surprised there's not more USA people like in conversations to come back. Well, really, it's just Ben, right? Was that all? Like out of the men, it was just Ben that was in uh, that's in talks to come back. So uh, I don't know. Oh, I forgot about that. Tony did win Champs versus Stars. Yeah, okay, why not? Fucking put Tony there. Why not? Where am I going? What am I doing right now? Um, I'm just running around in circles. Is it up here? What am I supposed to do? I, I genuinely don't remember anymore. Oh, this? Okay. Uh, how many uh, years does Tales from Arena take place across? Um, a lot. A ridiculous amount. Uh, I, I don't remember uh, the exact timeline of everything. But a lot. Like thousands. Um, worst survivor winner pick ever. I mean, uh, Aubrey or Jason Linden, right? Then Big Brother would be Obi. Yeah, I did see the love, real love boats ratings are not great. So, uh, I would not be surprised if they eventually just say fuck it and swap real love boat and amazing race. That they just like give up on real love boat. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Wait, how do you do this again? Is three enough? Okay, well, great. Oh, fuck off! Okay, did I actually fuck it up? Actually, I guess that would work. But yeah, I, I'm. Uh, I, I think they'll probably drop real up boat soon. So, uh, it's probably a good sign for Amazing Race. 
I, I think like that was like the speculation, right? With the ninety minute episodes is that they might be like testing the waters to see if uh they could do just ninety minute amazing race and survivor back to back. And yeah, I think that'll be a great way to go. See moving forward, like every survivor episode's ninety minutes, every um and then Amazing Race 90 minutes immediately afterwards. I think that'll be good. Again, do I like need like 90 minute survivor episodes? Not really. But um I wouldn't be opposed to it either. It's a Okay. Wait, so does it not move until there? Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, let's go through the women. So we got Alyssa. Um, again, like, doesn't really fit my, like, criteria. Like, I wouldn't mind seeing Alyssa on, the, like, some sort of challenge again. But again, it does feel weird that it's for World Championship. But whatever, I guess. Um, Ashley Kelsey, I mean, like, okay. <laughs> She technically qualifies. Like, do I want to see her back? Not really. Um, but fine, I guess. Ow, fuck. <laughs> whatever, I made through. I knew that was gonna fuck up, but still, so, whatever, I actually made through that. Um, Ashley Mitchell, cool. Um, I got Argentina people. Coral? That'll be great. Won't happen, but that'll be great. Uh, Cynthia, I mean, fine, I guess. Um, again, I, I don't know how much she really has, uh, in her to do, like, that well at the challenge, but, I mean, like, she's a likable presence, at least. Emily, I mean, obviously that's a big get. Um, Evelyn would be a big get. Uh, Ibis, I mean, I get, like, she's fine. Um, Jenny West, that'll be good. Jillian, that'll be good. Jo actually, there's, this is a pretty stacked field. I didn't actually, like, really, like, pay attention to this. Like, this is actually a pretty, like, if they can get a lot of these people, like, this is pretty fucking good. I don't think they will, though, that's the thing. But, like, this is, like, a really great group of people. Um... Yeah, Jody, Jillian, uh, Julie Stauffer, uh, Justine. I think Justine would be a good pick. Basically, at least she won Love Island, and she obviously made it like really far in USA. So, I, mean, I, I feel like she fits the criteria of it all. Uh, Katie Doyle. I mean, like, I don't know why we're still casting her again. She's legendary figure of the challenge, but um, I don't think she brings much to the table in the modern day. Um, Michelle Fitzgerald, I mean, again, she technically fits the criteria. And does she need to be on the show? Not really, but... Fine, I guess. Nani, I mean... Like, you know, do we need Nani? Not really. Um, Nally Anderson, I think that'll be cool. Uh, Olivia, I mean, fine, I guess. I mean, like... I, I mean, not, not I mean, yeah, not not gonna talk about 38, but um, that's fine, whatever. Uh, Ronnie, sure. Uh, Sam McGinn from uh, one like what Bow the Seasons? I mean, fine. I mean, that's kind of random. Uh, I'm thinking I, she's been in the running for like a lot of things, right? Like she was in the running for like Ulcers two and three or something, right? But still. Sarah Grayson, that'd be great. Sarah Rice, cool. If it's not happening, but it'll be cool. Uh, Sarah, Susie, that'd be cool too. Uh, Sylvia, like, again, do we need it? Not really, but, well, I mean, she doesn't even fit the criteria, but whatever. Uh, Veronica, obviously, like, I, I think that's, like, do I think Veronica's going to do that well? Not really, but, again, would be a decent get for, for this, considering, like, the prestige of what they're probably going to go for. Um... But yeah, and people did not expect, um, obviously no Evan or Kenny. By the way, I also did find it really funny that they literally, like, uh, just called Kenny, uh, West's partner in the documentary. 
that like Kenny, like the like one of the biggest stars of the show in that era, uh, if not the star of the show in that era, um, they just like yeah, he's just Wes's partner. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no Theo Vaughn, no Tyson, which again, not unexpected. And then for women, no Camilla, no Kara, uh, Kara Z, I feel like that's kind of disappointing. Uh, no D, no Jamie Chung, no Janelle. I feel like the women here do not expect it. There are some disappointing ones. Yeah, like no Janelle, no Joanna, no Kendall, no Laurel, no Paula. No Rachel Robinson. Like, those are all some pretty big names there. No Tori Hall. So, I don't know. I think that's kind of underwhelming. Uh, but yeah, I'm finally back on chat, which I haven't looked at in like five minutes. <laughs> um, uh, doing a video for these legends were one move away from winning. Um, uh, who would be included in that? I guess, like, Colby is obviously an easy answer. Wait, can't... Uh, why'd that take forever to load up, but whatever. Ah, it's the other kind. But I think it's so important. Uh, similar in All-Star Season, Brant Steel, and three people played there. Idols that tribal all incorrectly. <laughs> that seems very brand steel. I timed it wrong. Oh, or maybe I should hit that one then. Oh, fuck off! Okay, maybe not. Uh, yeah, Holly would be cool. Uh, I mean, like, uh, she kind of feels more of, like, an All-Stars 4 sort of pick for me, though, than Global Championship. Or, like, I, I, I'm assuming Global Championship is going to be, like, like, it feels like a more serious event, right? Like, it feels like, like this actual, like, trying to make the challenge into a sport sort of thing. And, like, getting the best of the best and all that stuff. And, like, I mean, Holly feels like... Okay, well, that was fucking great. What the fuck? Um, but, yeah, that feels more of a uh, All-Stars 4 sort of casting choice. All right, let's not do that again. Cool. Um, oh, are you fucking serious? Fucking hit the thing. Okay, well, great. Yeah, then again, yeah, we are also talking about the show that wants Nani and Josh on it, so. But again, like, from, like, I feel like if I was making the show, that's how I would approach this, is that this is, like, the end-all, be-all of challenge seasons. Okay, do I, okay, wait, wait, wait. When's this? So do I do it here? Is that how you time it? Okay, I guess kind of. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> um, do I like the Ride or Die Final? I don't know what the Ride or Die Final is. Killer Camp is the mole of a horror twist? Eh. Hey, I haven't watched the mole, like, or at least recently, I should say. Um, to where I have any, like, true recollection, recollection of it, um, let alone, uh, all these other, like, spin-offs, or, like, copycats, I guess? I don't know, what do you call it? Damn it, I thought I had it at that time. Whatever. Well, the end will be all challenge seasons might have been on it. I mean, yeah, that is, that is a possibility. Um, but yeah, like, like, uh, Ben wasn't bad in USA. 
Like, I feel like he, like, can be a serious competitor. Like, I would rather have Ben on it than, like, Cyrus. Like, I, I would have, like, no faith in Cyrus to ever, like, actually do well in a challenge season at this point. Uh, what is the timing I want here? So these are both up at the same time, right? So, like, I want this here, right? Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I think I fucked this up. Yeah. Damn it. What's the timing here? Uh, what's the most I can say when now everything is what it seems to me? Um... Mm, I don't know. I don't know how much I can say without spoiling. Oh, I think I know. Oh, no, 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 that wouldn't work. Oh. I think Jody is likely. I think Jody's pretty likely. Like, I, because, like, I believe she was, like, she wanted to do All Stars 3, but, like, couldn't because she was still injured or something, right? Or, like, it was, like, essentially just, it was, like, too soon. Like, she wanted to do it, but, like, it was just, like, too soon. So, like, I, I would be surprised if she's not uh, on Global Championship. Uh, no, it's not that. It's not, like, a secret group or anything like that. It's more so the, like, the basis around everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, like, it's stuff that they, like, explain without just outright spoiling it. I forgot, can you climb this? No, right? Okay. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Completely lucked my way into that, but fine. But I like the Challenge 38 format? Not really. Um, I think it's one that gives the daily winner, like, way too much power. But obviously that can be, like, a pro and con based around, like, who is the daily winner. Do you hate this part? I know. Wait, how do you do this? Wait, what is there to hit here? Yeah, I'm pretty confident I won't be trying that at Little Caesars, considering I haven't had Little Caesars and uh, too far I did have some when was that like a year and a half ago maybe but even then that was just like because they had it at a party and like i wouldn't have gotten it otherwise um but yeah i'm like never going out of my way to get little caesars i genuinely don't remember how you do this section how do you do this there's no way I, obviously that's not it Oh, is there a thing to the side? Uh, I don't know how much longer you can go. I mean, I mean, it was a it was a work party. Truly, do you hate this part? I know. Okay, cool. Uh, that's not it. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fucking idiot. I remembered it was like, yeah, you blew up the bottom. I, I felt like I did remember that. I just, like didn't remember how you did that. Do I get any bitches? Uh, no. Oh, fuck off. Um. Wait, the other day in math class, someone said. 
it is what it is, and someone replied with what Jeff said in Samoa. What Jeff said in Samoa? God damn it. I know. Oh, fuck up! Like, oh, I'm using the wrong thing. That's my own fault. Pfft. There we go. Uh, Loving contestants stay in a summer camp where one of them is the killer. It's up to us to find out. Um, Wait, they only go down the final six? And if five of them get the killer right? I mean, isn't that kind of... I don't know, I'm kind of a wonky format, I feel like. Oh, pfft, okay. Not paying attention. Um, oh, no, that actually would have been fine. Oh, that was so fucking close. Okay, we got it. Um, I never doubted. Why not just vote her out now? When was that? Piece of the language I don't. I don't even remember that. <laughs> Fuck! We're almost two hours in the stream. Can't believe that. Okay, well, that's great. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm pretty confident we'll finish this tonight. Super, I mean, like, we, we should easily do it unless, like, my internet fucked up, which obviously doesn't seem to be doing so far. And that's me being an idiot and not pushing the right button again. Last time I had fast food, uh, not that long ago. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, I, like, Panda Express I had a week ago? Was it a week? I think last Saturday. Um, and then I had, like, Wendy's, like, probably two weeks ago. A week and a, maybe a week and a half. I think it was, like, mid-week, that week before that. I don't remember what exact day, so. It hasn't been, like, that that long. McDonald's specific, uh, it's been a bit. Like, not like ridiculous amount of time, but like probably like a couple months. Oh, it is this way. Yeah, I, I've never been a big McDonald's person. Oh, did I actually go on? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I've always liked uh, Wendy's and I've liked Whoppers. Like, I don't like Burger King in general, but I've always liked like Whoppers uh, and onion rings. But even then, like, I haven't like I, I think Burger King's the one that like I haven't been to in the longest amount of time. Like, I can't even tell you last time I went to Burger. King. Yeah, like, most of Burger King's, like, absolute shit, though. It's, like, pretty much everything but Whoppers and... I mean, to be fair, Onion Rings are also kind of shit. Uh, it's just that I like them for some fucking reason. Um, yeah, like, everything but the Whopper is, like, pretty shit at Burger King. Subway, um... When did I have Subway? Like, I had Subway... I, I think I talked about this on stream that like I there was like a buy one get one uh, from Subway and like I got like two and like the first one like the one that I ate fresh was like really good but then like I kept the other one like for a day later and it tastes like complete shit and that's like kind of turned me off from getting Subway again um oh wait I, I just fucking backtracked whatever it's fine oh well cool I'm about to die yeah, I'm not even hitting him. There we go. Okay, 
Why isn't it letting me? Um. Cool. Is it because like there's still an enemy alive? Oh, okay. I guess it is. Where the fuck is he though? That's kind of annoying. Um, last time I ate ass. Um, that's obviously something I do very often. Yeah, we reached the uh, 1 a.m. fast food talk. Obviously, the uh, the cornerstone of the stream. Okay, who's the, like? Is he still alive? Who's even alive? Oh, okay, fuck off. There we go. Fuck that. Boy. Yes, sir. Time to flip the table. Yes, sir. Uh, Trakina from Lost Galaxy scared the. Uh, really, she scared you? I mean, like. I feel like there would be like other characters that probably scared me. When I was a kid more so than uh, than Trakina. Um. Game? Like, is that not what I'm supposed to do? Look here. It says his name is Burgum. I think Mother said he was the king of the giants. Aye, that he was. And quite a bit more. Okay, now it's like me. What the fuck? It's so stupid. Arby's, uh, last time I had Taco Bell, like, literal decade, like, over a decade ago. I've not had Taco Bell in, like, since I was a kid. Um. The Arby's, uh, probably like three months ago. It's been a, like, probably more than that, actually. I don't know, when was that? Like, I had a coupon for family meal, and I used it. And I don't remember when that, like, when exactly that was. I think that was, like, probably... Yeah, it was probably, like, I don't know, like, June or so. So probably a little bit. Biggest phobia? I mean, like... I don't know. Probably just, like, probably claustrophobia. Which is why I feel like I wouldn't do well in the Big Brother house. Dairy Queen? I actually haven't had Dairy Queen in, like, little forever until, like, a few weeks ago. Uh, where, uh, there's, like, a Dairy... There's a new Dairy Queen, like, next to the Sam's Club that's near my... Um, place so it's like I uh, like in like uh, yeah so I just decided to get Dairy Queen just to try it out and uh, they fucked up my order so uh, fuck Dairy Queen. <laughs> um, mm. A climb you say? Ah, by the statues. They literally got the um, I forgot what the name of the burger is but the burger that um, it like has crispy onion in it. Which, like, that was the entire point of me wanting that specific burger, was for the crispy onion, and then they didn't put the fucking crispy onion in it. See that, Mimir? Nobody can do all this alone. See, so that's like, all yeah, fuck Dairy Queen. To, they're just chances to prove we're the ones who can beat them. I'm really, though, it's, it's like, fine. Um, father, you and Freya, but it's, it's kind of Sindri, all, like, I feel like it's, like, but when we all work together, uh, kind of on the uh, more expensive side of things for fast food. Stuff. That's where it's why like, why would I get that when I can get I Wendy's that, for like well, cheaper and also probably like of mean? the same quality? It means you speak wisely, Atreus, and that is good to hear. So I probably won't go Dairy Queen again. I don't think because I don't really see the the points. It's the travel room, right? Or not? Green bean casserole. I mean, like, I like the crispy onion on green bean casserole. But I'll say that. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a crispy onion fan. <laughs> but I feel like my least favorite Thanksgiving food is is stuffing, probably. Or, like, I, I would rather vomit than, than eat fucking stuffing. Boy. Your knife. 
Surprised I had the Australian Outback merge episode. I mean, that's the best episode of the entire season. It's the merge episode for me. So. Anyway, when the best episode of the entire season is number 28 <laughs> on a uh, episode of just the merge episode, it's like, that's not that impressive. Like, stuffing, I mean, uh, well, good for you. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I, like, I, 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 I just don't like, like, soggy bread style. They, like, I, I don't know. It just disgusts me. Same thing with, like, like, that's why I don't like cereal. And, like, having cereal with milk and everything. Like, I, I just, like, really hate, like, uh, like, the concept of getting, like, super soggy. Take a frosty over a blizzard any day? Yeah, probably me too. Between realms. You know how you must never stray from the path. Well, tear always followed. I will say I did uh, have a McFlurry the last time I had McDonald's. I actually felt like it's probably better than I remembered. The realm between realms. Hey, rice pudding? I mean I probably did I haven't eaten rice pudding. In like forever. <laughs> or even had like the opportunity to, but Okay, so we're, we're nearing the end of this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's like I actually hit the mic, but we're fine. Um, favorite food? Um, I oh, I, I think it's like, like probably like Chinese food. But, I mean, no, I don't think I have, like, a super, super solid answer on, like, what specifically. Oh, wait, am I just an idiot? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, I, I've never been a big pasta person. I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? Find your own path, right? Do I like spicy food? I mean, like, I, I can take, like, moderate, moderate, like... Beyond. Spiciness, I guess. Uh, but I'm not like, uh, I know, like eating like a like a ghost pepper like level of spicy. Like that's something I definitely couldn't do. But um, yeah, one of my favorite like Chinese foods is uh, salt and pepper squid, which like uh, again like you eat that with the chili paste and then also the and also rice. It's like that combination to me is like one of my favorite foods. Oh, um, so but um, Come on. and that sometimes I like overdo what? it on the uh, the, the chili paste to where it becomes Amazing. ridiculously How do you hot. Something that exists in all realms? But like I like the chili paste, just that like sometimes it's like it's too hot. I don't know, it's like it's weird, but it's like I um. So like uh, last time I went to, or like a family member went to um, Atlanta, um, they got me a whole bunch of uh, like chili paste from Atlanta, which is like the traditional like Asian restaurant chili paste, and like um, and it was like it was good, but it was like slightly less like it wasn't like actually as hot as what it typically is. I feel like that was like kind of the perfect one to where like now I like use a whole bunch of chili paste like kind of expecting it to be that level, but then it turns out it's like way too fucking hot. But like yeah, like I, I like like a certain level of spice, but what happens now? Not ridiculous amount. I love how that was like a completely random tangent, but whatever. Um, um, yeah, where are next videos? Um, was it Wednesday? Like, no one's gonna give a shit. The, uh, what, AC3 retrospective? Uh, next Saturday, I mean, like, it's gonna be determined on, like, do we get the merge or not? If we get the merge, midseason power ranking. If we don't get the merge, then, um, then it's the, uh, luckiest moment for every survivor winner. Uh, and then the next, then I, I'm pretty confident we'll get the merge by next week. So, like, the week after that, Saturday will be. The Mitsu's Power Ranking and the Wednesday video will be another uh, AC3 Liberation retrospective. So, again, it's like it's, it's, uh, it's Amazing Race videos.
or amazing. Fuck me. It's Assassin's Creed videos. I felt like I recognized that. I was like, okay, A is the starting letter, but I fucking said amazing race with that. But alright, it's Assassin's Creed videos. Um, Big Brother 3, I think that's scheduled for like November 2nd or something. So again, like the Assassin's Creed ones are like a bit more time sensitive because like they can still come out before their anniversary. It's like Big Brother 3 like really doesn't matter when that comes out. So I was like kind of more okay with like leaving that for a little bit. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was pretty happy with the luckiest moment video. I'll say like it's more so um like a lot of it is more like direct elements of luck than like things that like okay this could have changed this which could have changed this which like yeah like I, I feel like it's not like this like big like um like I, I remember like a few streams ago we talked about like like Chris um or like that Keith like disadvantaged Chris in like the challenge like that's something that like I'm pretty sure I don't talk about in that video mainly because like that feels like a billion fucking steps to get to like a possibility of it being lucky and especially because like it's not even lucky for him in that position like i feel like of me like with the luckiest moments it's like comes from like something that's like a direct positive um more so than like okay this was a negative at the time but ends up being a positive like 15 days later Um, but yeah, I, I feel like I was happy with how that video turned out. My, like, I haven't rewatched it. Um, which I, I, I kind of want to do just to, like, refresh myself on what I said. Um, for certain winners. But yeah, like, the ground rules were that it can't be, like, the cast. As, and it can't be, like, they won an immunity challenge. Um, but it can be like another person won a muni challenge or it can be like this person like w like essentially with Marianne I'm pretty sure I mentioned like Jonathan winning the challenges for Taku like I'm pr like that quantified qualify oh, fuck me. that qualifies for me but like not like um not like Tom winning final immunity, which I guess that's like, actually not even like purely luck anyway. But um, still, like that wouldn't qualify as much. Do we know if it's a two hours merge episode? I'm pretty sure we know that's not a two hours merge episode. Unless they're not merging for a very long time. Because like, I don't believe there's a two hour episode in the schedule, I don't think. Or at least I haven't heard of it. To which I feel like I would have heard of it if there was one. Uh, I think that's why I said for Tony and Kageon, but I'm not 100%, but I think it is like, yeah, Trish getting cast to flip at the merge. What did I say for... I don't even know why I said for winners at war time. I felt that one, brother. Should you get a haircut? I mean... Maybe. I need to get a fucking haircut. I'm probably not going to for a little bit just because I'm too fucking lazy. To oh, I actually died there? Okay, that was just me not paying attention. Uh, this is not my first place. This is like my... Okay, that's me being an idiot too because I didn't use the Resurrection Zone. Um, but yeah, this is like my like 10th playthrough. Uh, I don't know, probably like... Yeah, probably like 6th or 7th, somewhere around there. But yeah, this play that I'm doing, uh, kind of refresh myself on the game before Ragnarok comes out. I haven't got a haircut since spring. I mean, that's pretty long. I think last time I got a haircut was, like, July? Is that one? July or August, somewhere around there. Like, it's been a few months, I know. Yeah. 
But yeah, like I, I feel like like at the point where I'm at now, I, I definitely should get a haircut. Um, he's getting to the point where like it's definitely like uh, getting bothersome. But um, okay, I actually died there. What the fuck? I was not paying attention. <laughs> um, hair doesn't grow fast though. Yeah. Like I'm pretty sure mine's already at the point where like it's pretty much the exact same length as it was like last time. I got a haircut. Like, I really should get a haircut, but I fucking hate getting haircuts. I mean, my hair grows, like, kind of fast, but, like, I don't, know, I don't know how you quantify how fast your hair grows. Like, I've never actually bothered to, like, measure how many, like, how long my hair is. But where are we? Oh, was that it? Oh, that seemed kind of short. Look, we're back in Midgar. There's the bridge. Yes, yeah, so all that's left is the serpents. Now tears travel. And final boss, right? And then obviously going to Jotunheim. Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar yeah, we're almost done. The stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. Yeah, that's kind of my like least favorite aspect of it is like having to make like the small talk with the uh with whoever's cutting your hair. Uh, for number two, wait, part merge. Um, yeah, I'm wondering how they'll do the hourglass this season. Or not hourglass, the earn to merge. Because, like, obviously we know there's no hourglass, but they are still doing earn to merge. So it's like, I don't know, are we going to get, like, a one-part merge episode? Is that what we're looking at? Like, instead of a two-parter this time? Like, is it just going to be a one part of, like, okay, this challenge, half the people are, like, is essentially going to be, like, a reward and then immunity? Um, but still, like, that's going to be tough to fit in one episode, I feel like. To do all that and then also merge dynamics? Or do they just have it so that, like, half the tribe's immune and there's no other second immunity challenge? Maybe that's something they do? I don't know, like the... Yeah, I wonder how they're going to do it, because, like, I'm... Like, I'm assuming... Like, the thing that... I, I think we're probably not getting a two-part merge episode now. Because, like, obviously we didn't get a double boot in the pre... Or at least it doesn't look like we're getting a double boot in the pre-merge. Um, and they need a double boot. They need another double boot. Um, so... Like, after also, like, a potential one later on. So it's like... I assume that ch probably just means that the merge is just going to be one episode this time to kind of make up for that. I don't know. Uh, where am I going again? Wait, am I going to straight to Johanheim this time? I don't know. Oh, it's not even looking at the thing. Here we go. <laughs> Could they go back to six person battle? I mean, that's also a possibility. Especially now that they know they're not having reunion, like proper reunions. But still, I feel like they still would want to spend some time on that. On the, like, in person. Or like, at, on location, I mean. Reunion. But I guess you never know. But yeah, I guess, I guess there is a chance of that, too. Any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. We've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, bit of a long shot, but for years I've seen Sindri sometimes block lurking around in that mountain. Eight preachers? How many? So eight and uh, so that means only that means ten people. Uh, like the jury starts at the final ten. That's kind of a weird number. Actually, yeah, but yeah, that was uh, that's what I was thinking, right? Is the, the, there was going to be this like a double boot. Like, it was going to be, like, right before the merge, it was, like, the uh, split tribal twist at 12. Which, like, I would like that. 
Um, like, I mean, I feel like if you're going to do split tribal choice, I should say, I think it would be better to do it at 12 than at 10. Um, yeah, it could work out that way, but, like, I don't know if they would want to have a jury that small. He wanted me to build a... He showed it to me. You see, and uh, does Nick from Mystic Force inspire me to never give up? No, he inspires me to give up. Sir, will you it literally made me give up on Power Rangers. <laughs> um, it literally made me say, fuck this, I'm not watching this show anymore. to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of box speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But oh, Nick from Panama inspires me more than Nick, Nick from uh, Mystic Force. I mean, uh, how could you not be inspired by Nick Stanberry in his final speech? Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? Yeah, I still want to do that final words video at some point. I don't know when I would actually get around to it. We better go see what the world Considering like that would take a decent that. amount of time to like look up all the final no, words and, and watch all of them, ahead. but but now would be a good time to make sure your gear is ready for the worst. But yeah, it would be fun. Do, you have four videos That's scheduled to come out next week? Home. What four? And why all uh next week? Why not like spread it out a bit? Favorite Power Ranger, Mystic Force? I hate them all. <laughs> I don't like any of them. Um, now, uh, Xander, was that his name? The Green Ranger? He's fine. Um, Maddie? Is that her name? Blue Ranger? She's fine. Fuck all the other ones. You throw the top 150? Yeah, yeah, I, I know that. But yeah, that was just like, just playing the, the clips, right? This is that you lost to us. Ah, uh, he thinks it might still be in his stomach. Um, and he's open to letting you go into his mouth. But yeah, I don't know why I would, I, I, would I just do like top, I guess top 25? I don't know. Like I did top 25 jury speeches. By the by. He's not wild about it either. Like, I feel like for final words, I guess I'll have to see, like, how many of them are worth talking about. Because that's kind of what I did with, final, with jury speeches. That kind of, like, got a general sense of, like, how many are worth talking about and then, like, decided on number 25. So um, we really we'll see with final words. But again, like, I I feel like I'm probably going to wait a bit do not have to, come. Uh, to do that. Just because it's, like, again, it's a lot of final words. And, like, different, most of them are, like, probably nothing. But... Still probably take a decent amount of time to sift through all of them. So this is the start of the end game. I mean, Rupert from Pearl Islands is fucking great. No. Uh, like I feel like obviously Jeff Kent comes to mind. Um, yeah, this is Rupert. Like uh, so much for my dreams. Uh, RDR1 on stream. Uh, the problem is that I don't have a way to stream it. I own it. I have it, but I don't have a way to stream it. Um, so that's kind of the issue. RDR2 for sure. Uh, again, that's probably some point next year. But again, one. Uh, I only have the 360 version. Which too far. I guess if I had a Xbox, like a modern Xbox console, I would be able to stream it. Without buying a capture card, but like at that point, I feel like I would just be better off buying a capture card. Um, well, I agree that Nora from IOI is the top five female uh, character of all time. I don't know, top five? I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Funny. I, used to dream about the I, I, I said this uh, before when, uh, like, I feel like Nora is a character that I remember being really great. But then, like, I actually can't remember, like, much of her. So, we're, like, I remember the, um, like, the stuff in the finale with her, like, like, her weird flirt mance with, uh, with, uh, Dean 
and that sort of stuff, and like her like uh, awkward like fight with Lauren on her way home, and um, there was what the uh, her failing the IOI challenge thing, the like the IOI like task or whatever. Um, I, don't know, I feel like outside of that, it's like. I don't have the greatest memory of Nora anymore. And to very a lot, that's because I haven't watched IOI. Um, actually, yeah, IOI... Yeah, I think IOI's the only season I've never done a... Well, actually, that's kind of not true. But I, I think IOI is the season I've watched the least out of any Survivor season. Um, so, like, that obviously plays a factor there. So, like, even for 41, 42, like, I rewatched a lot of it for my review. Um, to which I didn't for IOI. Uh, and like for IOI, the only like parts I've rewatched are what I need for like specific videos. So like, uh, I just watched the left ones for it. And the final mini challenges recently. And then I've watched obviously like the premiere, finale, and merge episodes. But a lot of the in-between, I feel like I'm a lot hazier on. Okay, well, that was shit. I missed that. Do I have to cancel the remaster? I mean, yeah, I, I would have loved to see the, the... Oh, fuck off! What? Okay. But yeah, I would have loved to see the... Because, like, essentially what it would have been is... Essentially what Last Part 1 is for... Um, part 2, where, like, they would have just remade Part uh, Red Dead 1 and... The Red Dead 2 engine, which would have been really cool. Oh, am I an idiot? I am an idiot. Oh no, I'm an idiot now. God damn it. Okay, cool. I could have kept that there. Uh, I have that on my list of video ideas. Or if it's not on the. Actually, it might not even be on the list, but I know I've thought about it. The, uh, yeah, ranking every food eating comp. But yeah, it is weird how, like, they decided to cancel the Red Dead 1 remaster because, like, the Grand Theft Auto remasters didn't do well, which is, like, isn't that just an entirely, like, different beast anyway? Because, like, the Red Dead uh, remaster is, like, no, using no an engine that you already have made to remake, uh, like, another game. While it's, like, the Grand Theft Auto, that was literally them, like, like, building it a bit more from scratch, right? Or, like, them, I guess, like, taking the originals and then, like, trying to do, like, a lot to them. But, like, I don't know. It's, like, I feel like that was, like, just a different, like, um, like, style of remake anyway. So I don't know why they, uh, decided that that was, like, the determining factor of, oh, we gotta cancel the Red Dead 1 retro, uh, Maybe Red Dead 1 remaster, but head. whatever. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone. Yeah, it's like, I, I don't know, I, I just feels like they... I it just feels like the Grand Theft Auto ones were like, just always gonna be shit. <laughs> um, but the fact that they like, let that um, stir them away from the Red Dead one at this point. Especially because I feel like the Red Dead one would do so much better anyway. I, like, one, I think it would just naturally be better, just because, again, like, it's them using the Red Dead 2 engine to make Red Dead 1. It's, like, it's hard to be, like, actually bad. Uh, like, Last of Us Part 1. It's, like, it, it was hard for, like, Last of Us 1, like, Part 1, the remake, to actually be genuinely bad, considering it's literally them just remaking the game in the Part 2 engine. Like, it's the engine of a game that's already good, um, but you're remaking a game that is also very good in an engine that is also very good. So it's, like... Um, like they're, like it was obviously gonna be good. Uh, so again, the fact that they can, like cancel it because of this other like scenario that's like very different is just weird. Um, I'm mean, bully two. I think it's like done. There's no fucking way they're doing a bully two in the modern day. Like bully just does not age well. Like there's no way they're releasing a bully two in the modern landscape. We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother. I might replay. I, like I haven't played Bully in a while. I, I would like to. I do own it on PS4, which that's the PS2 port, though, right? So it's not even like that good of a version of it. 
Well, like, technically, I own the 360 version. That's, like, the better version. But... I also can't record footage that version. I don't have a capture card. So, um... Oh. I, I thought about doing a bully, like, retrospective at one point. Um, okay, that looks weird. Um, but the reason I didn't is because, like, really, I have no, like, true connection to bully. Let's what? torment somebody really helpless what? and unfortunate. Yeah. I mean, like, it's... Oh. Like, in many ways, it is, like, uh... Like, obviously, it's, like, ridiculous, but, like, it knows it's ridiculous. But I feel like, like, that, like, sarcasm, like, that humor, like, wouldn't really translate, uh... Else. To... To Modern Lands. And, like, even then, like, even then, it was controversial. But I feel like now, it's, like, there's no fucking way they're getting, uh... Was here. Like, getting away with it. Look. Yeah, John Carroll and Rudy are both really good, too. Greg like Rudy talks about how he's gonna like essentially call people to to go and kill them, right? Like the the other players that vote him out, and then John Carroll, um, yeah, like him crying about um, being sorry to his mom and everything, right? What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from. Yeah, those are good ones. I'm looking. I, I feel like those. Yeah, those two. Uh, Rupert's Jeff Kent's. You have um, Nick Stanberry's, but like. You Not because of, that. like, good reasons, I guess. I don't know. Like, I don't know where I would put Nick Stanberry. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of friends, you know. Yeah. Um, because it's, like, it's funny because it's Nick Sp Stanberry that's doing that speech. But, like, realistically, it's not that interesting. Like, it's a really, like, generic, like, uh, follow your dreams sort of uh, final words. But it's just, it's funny that it's from, like, the most boring fucking person in the history of Survivor. Something's happened. How would Rob Susan do in Survivor Modern Day? I mean, uh, I think he's still high variance, but uh, he probably has more. Uh, like, uh, it's like I think he would have like more win equity in the modern day, but would have um, a lot more adversity in the modern day. To where, like, I would find it very tough to believe that Rob Cicinino gets to the end and loses a jury vote in a modern-day game of Survivor. But I also feel like he would, like, uh, probably struggle more strategically. Where I feel like nowadays, like, the players that are out there, I feel like a lot of them, like, probably outclass him just naturally. How I feel. Okay, I feel like, like again, like, I Rob Sessionino played Sequester, uh, what was it, dream. two years ago now, two and a half years, this actually, it's been a while, holy shit, it's been two and a half years, everything. what the fuck, it's been two and a half years since the beginning of COVID, like, what the fuck, but, um, exactly yeah, I mean, Rob Sessionino played, um, Sequester, uh, the RGP Sequester, and, like, he was a disaster, <laughs> like, he was so bad, uh, it's like, he was, like, it was good in the sense that he's, like, this big threat that, like, kept on being dragged along, but he had no clue what the fuck was going on in that game, uh, and, like, everyone was just playing around him, and it's like, I feel like that's probably how his survivor run's gonna go, um, like, obviously he would have more, like, direct connections, and he wouldn't be this, like, massive target, like he was in that game, where, like, obviously, like, Rob is going to be the big target in a, like, group of players that uh, from people from RHAP but still it's like uh, that did not give me much uh, hope for uh, for Rob's overall game building in the modern day this again yeah Rockstar like Rockstar's a company I'll be honest like I haven't pl I didn't play much of their stuff until a bit more recently well like I played like GTA 3 when I was younger um and like even then, that was like I was, that was like way after the game came out. And like I, I was like even then, I was like probably what 15 when I played it. Um. So it's like, like there's that, and then what I played. 
Like even again, Red Dead One. I didn't play for the first time until like twenty. When was that? Like it was like not. Oh wait, I'm, I forgot. I was in the cutscene. Um, but it was like 2016, maybe. Was that when I played it? You might want to turn away. Bro. That was like kind of recent. This won't be um, like GTA Five. I didn't play until 2018, I think. Fine. Stop. Yeah, like I, I've never, like I was never like a big rock star guy. Um, it's not until like you know, like a, I'm bully. I played like what was that 20. <laughs> Probably 2015, 2014, no, somewhere around, uh, around there. Um, but yeah, like I, I've never been like a big, big rock star guy. To where um, I, I wanted to do that. Rock, like I wanted to rank every rock star game. That's something I want to do. But like it's obviously like a lot of games I would need to play for the first time. Oh. The Nick Sandberry is so boring that he's unintentionally funny. He is in his you final know, words. Reason. Outside of that, he, like, has nothing going on. But again, it is that his, like, final words are, like, supposed to be this, like, big inspirational moment. That is what makes it funny. Yeah, I never played Midnight Club. Do I even own any Midnight Club? No, right? Too fair, if I did, I probably... I probably... Sold there. It's probably in this, like, shelf of games that I plan on getting rid of. Rockstar is like Assassin's Creed to you. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm sure it is for a lot of people, too. What's going on? Is Freya trying to kill us? No. Do you I remember Nick Stanberry is getting sick from beans with Austin. Awesome. Yeah. That is that is a thing that happened. I, when Nick Stan, like, literally the thing that I think of when Nick Stan, when I think of Nick Stanberry is his final words. That's the only thing, like, in the fact that he is so boring. He's more than hard. The spell is broken. He can be killed. I'm certain of it. Have ever been approached for a sponsorship by a company? Uh, I, to be honest, I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I assume not. I don't think I'm big enough to where, like, they would out of the... And, like, I don't think my, like... Uh, I, I feel like they... Like, I, I, I doubt a good, like, opportunity has come around. But, yeah, I'll be honest. I, I probably wouldn't know because I don't check. <laughs> I don't even have like an email attached to the channel, right? To where it wouldn't really even be an opportunity for them to like try to contact me that way. But also, realistically, I probably wouldn't do sponsorships anyway. It's not really my thing. Find your charger. Oh, that's good. So you can join the talk about, like, I don't know, what are we talking about? Rockstar. <laughs> yeah. Well, Dairy Queen was a while ago. I think Dairy Queen was like that was when uh, I was still doing the uh, the thing to get to Jotunheim. So that was a good like at least thirty minutes ago. Okay, this is just me being an idiot. This is also me being dumb too. Cool. But yeah, that's like even with Rockstar, it's like I love Red Dead, Red Dead Two in particular. Um. And then, like, I like GTA V. Uh, but again, that was, like, a lot more recent. Like, I'll say that, like, I don't really uh, have any true connection to any other Rockstar game. Again, like, Bully I like, but, again, not to the point where I feel like I can properly make a video about it. And, so, yeah, with the, like, old GTA games, like, I played, like, I, I remember, like, I, um, when I first got into game collecting, like, I bought GTA 3. I played the shit out of GTA 3. But, like, I never played the story <laughs> uh, in GTA 3. And, then, like, Vice City and San Andreas, like, I probably played for, like, literally, like, 20 minutes. And then 4, I think I played for, like, probably, like, an hour.
Like, I, I enjoyed 5 when I played it. Um, dude, I played it. I played 5 twice, right? Yeah. Um, so, again, we'll replay it uh, coming up, and I'll try to do a video on it. We'll, we'll see how I feel. Again, it's on the schedule. Uh, like, if I play and realize, like, I don't know what I really have to say here, then maybe I won't do it, but I do intend on making it. I think, like, Tomb Raider 2013 is also kind of in that spot, too. Or, like, I'm not even, like, fully, like, sold on making a video on Tomb Raider 2013. But I feel like, like, I kind of have a connection to it. But also, like, I don't feel like, I don't know what there really is to say about it necessarily, but I guess we'll see. It's just coming on BB19 at POC. Um... Actually, I don't remember. I think I assume she's like Hispanic, but I actually don't remember if she actually is. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I hear a lot of good things about four. Um, where yeah, I, I follow um, Lasers, who is a who used to be a Sasquatch YouTuber, but. Now talks about just games in general, but uh, like I know he's a big fan of GTA 4. So like I assume I would like GTA 4 if I were to play it, but I just never got around to it. And like usually, like I, a lot of my opinions on games is like pretty similar to his. But yeah, I just never got around to it. You bought Tomb Raider on sale last year, so I played. I really like 2013. Where like I mean, like if you like Uncharted, then like it's like it's essentially like a Tomb Raider version of Uncharted. Um, more complexity in terms of like, uh, there's like upgrade, there's like RPG elements to it. Um, but like the base gameplay is like pretty similar to Uncharted. Um, like I get, and like I know that like the Tomb Raider com like fans don't like the reboots. Um, which like, again, yeah, if I was a Tomb Raider fan, I would fully understand why. Um, because yeah, it's not that dissimilar from like Assassin's Creed and Assassin's Creed like taking after the Witcher and like all that stuff. Like it's essentially the same thing with like Tomb Raider but with Uncharted. Uh, and like I get it, but um, yeah, I obviously don't have that connection to Tomb Raider, um, to where I'm not bothered by that. Stay away from my son. You don't have to do this. More simple than five. Um, I, I hear like even like story wise four is like really good. But I wanted to, uh, like the plan was to play the the PS2 trilogy with the remasters, but obviously those didn't turn out. <laughs> again, I own like the thing is like I own them. Like I have the PS4 versions of them, which again are just the PS2 ports. Um, but I do own them, so like I can play them. But I just never got around to it. I'm real. I own a lot of the Rockstar. PS2 ports, I believe. I think the only one that I don't have is the Warriors, I believe. But I think I have every other one, which is why I wanted to do that Rockstar video. I was like, well, I own a lot of them already anyway. So I guess, like, I mean, like, what other games are there? Because they've been around... They were around... I mean, like, the original Grand Theft Auto's were PS1 games, so... Oh, I'm not even paying attention to the game. Um, i trying to look up a list of Rockstar games. But, like, I feel like, like... There's no way I will do everything, though, right? If I were to do a Rockstar ranking? Like, there's way too much. Oh wait, so was Rockstar? Oh pff, fuck it, no, that's not what I meant to. So was Rockstar not an official thing around when Grand Theft Auto One came out? Oh, okay, I didn't know that actually. 
Huh. So Rockstar didn't become a thing until 1999? Or 98? But, like, the first thing it it published was, uh... Was Grand Theft Auto London? Also, it was a thing by the time with GTA 2. But, like, it wasn't around when GTA 1 came out. That's interesting. I didn't know that, actually. Huh. But yeah, yeah. I feel like there's definitely, like, there's just too much to actually do a proper ranking of everything. I forgot about Oni. I, for, I do own Oni, right? Uh, or do I not? Oh, no, I do. I do own Oni, which is a Bungie game. It's, I think it's Bungie's first game? Or maybe not, but it's their first console game for sure. I forgot they made games for the Pippin. That's fucking weird to remember. But yeah, it's their first console game. But uh, it's kind of shit. <laughs> Only I didn't play much of it, but it is pretty shit. Dan Lembo, some great final words. Um, I, I I feel like I like it's like like him like bashing on the other people, right? But yeah, I don't remember exactly what he said though. I, I do find it funny that Dan Lembo like is a character that's like much better when he's out of the game than when he's in the game. Like, his best moments are Final Tribal and, like, him, his final words and everything. Well, like, him inside the game, what's his best moment? Like, him sitting in the fucking chair? Oh, cool. Yeah, no, like if I were to do a bungee or bungee, uh, rockstar ranking, I don't know how I'd even approach it. It's just so much. Yeah, there's so much like random shit early on. Like now, like modern day, it's a lot more streamlined. Where like now, it's essentially just Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead, uh, and then like Max Payne three. Like I wouldn't include the multiplayer stuff or remasters, though I might play the remasters of like games. But like, I would only be including them on the list like once. Obviously. So you got Red Dead Two. Um, GTA Five. Max Payne Three. Really, Max Payne Three was their last game before those two. That's really fucking weird to think about. But yeah, uh, LA Noir. It's just being an idiot at this point. Red Dead. Yeah, what I uh, what I include? Beater Tour. That actually is that the game I'm thinking. It's like the cover's like a yellow cover of a guy of like yeah yeah, yeah okay I, I didn't remember this game. Uh, what is it though? A music mixer. Okay, that's not super interesting. Chinatown Wars. I forgot about that. That existed. Midnight Club Los Angeles. The mid uh, the Manhunt games. I don't know, yeah, I feel like, I don't know, it would just be kind of wonky on what I include and what I won't. Wow. Yeah, I, I do like, uh, I do like L.A. Noir. Oh, I actually just died. Cool. <laughs> oh, hey, Circle. Uh, what'd you miss? Uh, tonight's been a bit of a train wrecky stream, I feel like. A lot of random shit. Um... I, I said Bungie because I was talking about Bungie earlier. Because, like, Bungie developed Oni, which is a game published by Rockstar. Okay. The image of Dan uh, sitting in chairs still hilarious. Yeah, it is. It's, it, like, what makes it funny is the, the fact that he's like dangling his feet and everything too. Yeah. 
worse uh, Blood vs. Water Celebrity Brother. I mean, uh, I, I said this earlier that Celebrity Brother 3 is uh, below it on my reality TV ranking so far. Uh, Amazing Race AU is at the bottom of everything, though. That's my least favorite season of anything I've watched all year. Simply because, like, I just did not care. Like, I didn't care about a single fucking thing that happened on Amazing Race AU. So it's like, at least with Celebrity Big Brother 3, there were, like, some decent moments. Like, there was some interesting gameplay at points. Like, there was, like, nothing interesting going on. Uh, Amazing Race so I'm not including... I don't think I'm going to include Beyond the Edge on the formal list. I'll talk about it still. Like, briefly, but, like, I, I won't include it in, like, the formal, like, ranking. Oh, fuck. And the end, probably real love boat will be the same. I don't know. No matter how much of like I, I think as of right now, if I like continue paying attention to real love boat, uh, like if I wa re watch the rest of real love boat in the way that I've watched the first two episodes, I think it would be enough to rank it. Considering like I'm not fully paying attention the entire time, but like I still know what's going on in real love boat. So I, I think it would be like good enough to r to rank it. But like beyond the edge, I legitimately like didn't even watch. Um, like, the middle episodes. I do it or did I fuck it up? I think I did it, right? No, no, I think I did it. Uh, I kind of said that uh, Blood vs. Water had 24 episodes, only memorable thing. Um, to, I kind of forgot about the Juicy Dave thing. <laughs> it's kind of funny, like, I feel like for me, Blood vs. Water, the thing I remember the most... Well, I mean, like, obviously Mark and Sam. But I think outside Mark and Sam, the thing I remember the most is the fact that, like, Josh didn't get that much content despite how like dominant he was. Uh, which is like funny that like the thing that one of the things that I remember is like someone not getting content. <laughs> and I, I guess Jordy does. Like But then like, I feel like Jordy I remember more so just because like like I feel like Jordy's like still in my mind because like we know he's coming back for Heroes of the Villains. I feel like if it wasn't for that, I like probably wouldn't like even like think of Jordy anymore. Still more to the fight, right? Mel and Michelle, um I had Michelle higher, right? Stop on the ranking. Please. Like it's funny because like Mel's the fan, right? But like I did feel like Michelle played like better. You will not come to us again. I mean they're gods. So yeah, they don't take fall damage. Don't Too good for that. You don't, you, don't, you didn't play uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. If you play Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you would know gods don't take fall damage. That's why uh, Cassand. That's, <laughs> that's so fucking stupid. Oh my god, fuck Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I actually genuinely want to replay Odyssey and Valhalla at some point. Help yourself. Just because, like, they're so shit that, like, I feel like replaying it would be just, like, funny, but... And, like, I, I probably will do, like, some sort of video on it at some point, but, like... It's also, like, a lot of time that I just don't want to waste. Um... Hard, uh, to Actually, I kind of forgot about Sandra. And I will say, I completely forgot about Andy until I did the prep for the first boot ranking the other day. I've made mistakes. So, like, obviously I can't do... I'm not going to do it until Heroes vs. Villains, but, like, I was like, okay, well, I might as well, like... You get all the images and everything now because like I know I'm gonna do it. Um, so like I I got all the images. I was like, holy shit! Fucking Andy was the first boot. <laughs> I completely forgot Andy was the first boot. Um, we can. Greek or Norse cooler? I mean, like we obviously know a lot more about the Greek as of right now. 
Like I, I think like Frey and Bold are a lot more complex characters than like pretty much any character that's in the Greek uh, God of War games, but we just know so much more about the Greek God of War uh, gods than uh, than Norse. But like I feel like by the time by the end of Ragnarok, I would expect all the like the Norse gods to be better. You've seen me dead. We'll make things right. Yeah, Mel was such a threat. Uh, she was such a threat that she didn't get any airtime. <laughs> Alyssa and Julia, the strongest twins in reality. Uh, I mean, I guess, but that's not like hard to beat, right? Like, what other um, like set of twins are there? Like, obviously, you got like Natalie and Adria, which no. Oh no, like well, I mean, uh, Natalie and Nadia are weird, right? Because like now, see, Natalie's a winner, and like. A two-time finalist. But also, like, Nadia was the first boot. But also, she's probably, like, one of the better first boots. Oh, is this actually the end? I assumed there was more to the fight. I guess not. There we go. I really love the soundtrack of this game. I think Kratos killing Boulder was a good or bad thing. I mean, like, like good, but um, like, I mean, are we talking about like from his point of view? Like, I think it was like probably the right call to make, though. Obviously, like, kind of fucks up his relationship with Freya to where like we'll see where that goes in Ragnarok because like, I feel like Freya is going to be very important in Ragnarok. Considering, like, obviously we know that uh, we're going to have to face off against Odin and Freya's Odin, uh, Odin's, um, like, ex-wife or whatever. Like, I, I assume she's going to play a major role there. From every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. Like, I always found the Freya stuff, like, yeah. Like, I, I feel like, like that was something I complained about at the time, though obviously now I recognize, like, the themes of it being, like, Everything. talking about the importance of a parent-child relationship and that sort of thing. Um, you were just a but it's, like, still kind of dumb. That it's like, I mean, we literally just saved your fucking life. But, again, I think that's the point of the story, though. Um, I know enough. Does he? Uh, yeah, I mean, you could say that, like, I mean, that's the thing, too, is that, like, uh, some people say that, like, Boy. um, that, like, so Nadia had, like, no reason to be targeted on I'm Survivor, where, like, oh, it was ridiculous that, um, I made a deal that Nally and Nadia so were, like, looked at as, like, um, I killed many like, cutthroat people thing. coming into the season, but it's, like, I mean, like, there's kind of merit. You I mean, for Amazing Race standards, I do feel like they're one of the more, like, strategic teams up to that point. I killed my father. Yeah, I, I really want to redo my God of War video. Your father in hell. But I don't know when I'll do it. Same thing with Horizon. I mean, like, all those, like, again, essentially every video game video I did pre like, Last of Us Part 2, I think. And even Last of Us Part 2 I want to redo. But I feel like it isn't until, like, a bit recently that I'm, like, kind of happy with my video game videos. In terms of how in-depth I go in on them. To where, like, I, I definitely do want to redo God of War at some point, but just don't know when I'll do it. Even Plague Tale. Like, Plague Tale, I was, like, thinking about it. It's like, I feel like I probably should have gotten more in-depth on Plague Tale. But, it, and, like, to be fair, that video was made, like, a year ago. <laughs> even though it just came out a week ago. But, um, still. Um, I should have gotten more in-depth on that, but like that one I'm probably still a bit more content with though well guess we are the bad guys now in her eyes yes but she could never make that choice trying to look up my video game playlist we should finish this and he's like when the, when I'm, where's the point where like I'm fully content Like obviously anything that's coming up from this point on, I'm I'm pretty happy with. 
Um, like I'm happy with the True Colors video. I'm happy with the Entrelos Legacy. She seemed all evil at the Yakuza videos I, outside of the Zero One Two video. I'm happy with all those. Her son. I'm happy with the Near videos, the Mass Effect easily. videos. Final Fantasy 15, I'm okay with. The Stranding, I'm okay with. Persona 5, I was kind of like, I probably should have gone more in depth, but it's also like yes. still kind of fine. There was no easy choice. Yeah, I feel like Last of Us Part 2 is. Actually, no, I'm pretty happy with Uncharted 4. Agree you did the right thing. Probably FF7. Just give her time, lads. Yeah, I feel like that's probably the point. Because like before that, you have like Life is Strange, which like one last time was more like even that video was like more in depth than what I would typically do. But I definitely could have gone way more in depth on it. And before I even again God of War, which was like twenty minutes, I could easily go an hour. Spider Man is fifteen minutes. Horizon was somehow fifteen minutes. Um, yeah, twenty minute Last of Us, nineteen minute Witcher Three retrospective. Oh, Nine minute LA Noir retrospective. It's like fuck me, dude. I could definitely do a one lot more on all those. We only hope to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid yeah, decisions. Right at the end of the game. So a little bit early. Yeah, at least we're gonna end up finishing this like what, a three fifteen mark or so. Uh, not that. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's Brock's shop. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, One Piece is real. Oh, man. The tower ate the Unity Stone, didn't it? Uh, I've not seen the uh, new Halloween yes, movie. That's a terrible pity. Uh, I mean, like, I, like, okay. I, just me and film in general at this point, I'm kind of. Odin like, a bit disconnected from it. Uh, I haven't watched, like, a lot of modern movies. And he's a collector of prophecies. Like, I, I was big into film, like, what, 2014 was when I got, like, really big into it. And then, like, I was, like, pretty much watching everything, like, 2014, 2015, 2016. I went back and watched, like, like almost every movie, like, like any notable movie. Um, but then, like, since then, like, since 2016. 17, I think. Um, that was the year, right? Yeah, I think that's kind of where I dropped off, and like now it's like I'm very, like I very sparsingly watch movies. Watching child's uh, play movies for the first time, I literally couldn't tell you like the difference between any of them. Like I've, I'm pretty sure I've watched, like I've watched a lot of them. But I, I could not even tell you, like, what happens in any of them, uh, like, specifically. Not a big movie guy, yeah. Like, I, I, I'm not anymore, but I definitely was at one point. Like, I, I have, like, this massive spreadsheet of, like, uh, top ten movies of every year. And, like, I, I had, like, a ranking of top 500 movies of all time and that sort of thing. Where the fuck's you and I'm in this? Oh, fuck off! Where is this? There we go, what the fuck? Uh. Uh, favorite Power Rangers villain? Um. Boy, your head. Get ready. What is my favorite Power Like, right. let's see. Got it. I mean, clips or I'm mean, thinking he's not like he doesn't end up being a true Maybe villain. Talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure he'll be fine. Ready? I got like Andromeda and um and Trakina, who I think are both like good. Uh, Rancic, Rancic's good. Yeah, those are I mean, those are the ones that come to mind right away. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, trying to think of the right. Like, I feel like they're all like not that well, great after that. Uh, I mean, uh, Mesagog's fine. We will see. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have like a solid number one. I want please before we continue. New one's kind of bad. Yeah, I, I've heard like like mostly Listen, negative, but I feel like there's, there's like still like some people that liked it. But why not wait yeah. for you here? Two's currently the best, uh, with Chot's play. 
Again, I but if someone couldn't tell you which one that is. I'll play with it being the second one. Uh, when do I think the channel will end, if ever? I mean, like, again, I don't have any intention of stopping the channel, but I also, like, don't plan on, like, like progressing the channel necessarily. Like, I'm planning on just, like, doing what I'm doing, and then, like, it is what it is. Like, I don't really care about, like, channel growth or anything at this point. I just want to, like have this outlet to this. talk about these oh, no, like, random things that I want to talk about. Um, okay. But I have said that, like, I think, like, the perfect time to Wait. end would be after I do oh. the big survivor ranking, like the ranking of every survivor player, which the plan, I, I believe it's 2026 for that, right? Because, like, that would be, like, immediately after Survivor 50. Well, not immediately, but, like, like a probably a few months after Survivor 50. Um, which I believe that's 2026, right? So, like, that would make sense to end it there. Though, also, it's like, I can't even guarantee that I will do YouTube up until that point. And also, I can't guarantee that that will be the end either. So, it's like, I, I, I don't know where, like, how this channel's gonna go, realistically. It's like, I want to continue doing it. But obviously, it's like, if things come up, uh, because like at the end of the day, it's like this is a massive like time commitment. Um, to, like, even though the videos that I make are like complete shit, it's like it still takes a lot of time uh, to make them. Especially like doing two videos a week, like all that stuff. It's like it takes a lot of fucking time uh, and a lot of planning to do all this. And it's like again, if I like we did obviously like if I were to like get married, have kids, like that sort of thing, it's, there's no fucking way I could do this. Uh, it's like a two for uh, uh, like. I could probably like slow down, um, like do like maybe a video every, like I'm one a week even then like who the fuck knows but again like definitely like uh, I could still continue the channel but just like not doing like the way I'm currently doing it and like slow down things but um, you know I, I don't know again we'll see who the fuck knows but as of right now I don't plan on uh, stopping so. If you ever get a PlayStation, should you get this? I mean, yeah, but this is the end. <laughs> it's kind of spoiling you on that, but whatever. Um, Can we go now? Diva Talks to Legend. I mean, Close. yeah, I mean, like, I, I don't know. I never was a big fan of, like, the jokey Boy. sort of villains, though. Like, the ones that are, like, more, like, used for comic relief. Like, Diva Talks is one of those. Like, Lothor is one of those. Uh, like, Reed and Zed by the end of their run. Uh, will Lindsay from 43 be in the bottom 50 players of all time? Probably not. Because, like, I like I would have more... Like, I think Lindsay would have potential if she were to play again. But I feel like there's a lot of players that I don't really see that potential at all. Where, I guess we haven't talked about it. We haven't talked about the exit interviews, right? Which, I mean, too fair, hasn't really changed that much. Though we have obviously seen... Like, because, like, at the end of the day, like... Just it does seem like, yeah, Lindsay fucked up. Like, it, Lindsay's, like, paranoia did cause her to get voted out. Um, however, like, she's explained that, like, okay, the reason why she was paranoid is because, like, Geo like, Anybody supposedly here? was, like, telling her that, like, she was a target. That, like, her name was floating around. They must have all come um, what was left of them. Which I've seen some people, like, credit Geo for this, which, like, from... What it sounds, it sounds like this was not Geo's plan. Like, this was, like, a complete accident that ends up saving him. Um, like, this was more so, like, Geo... Because, like, Geo was playing on ca targeting Cassidy, but he knew that Lindsay wasn't going to go along with that. So, like, he wasn't willing to tell Lindsay that Cassidy was going home. Um, but he wanted, like, Lindsay to, like, uh, like switch her vote or whatever. Huh. Who's the Guardian? Well, it's like, I don't know, it doesn't seem like, like Geo was actually, like, fully intentional in all this. But, um, still. Like, uh, it does seem like that did cause Lindsay to go in this, like, spiral to where she got paranoid from, like, hearing that her name was out there. Which, like, I don't know, does that make it any better? Not, like, to me, not really, but, you know. Something's happening. You, uh, BBK is at the air. Yeah, yeah, I did. I, it's like m March, right? March to May. Stuff like that. So, yeah. Same time period as BBK. 
Uh, again, like at best, I'll do like a short review for for BBUK. Not gonna cover it too extensively though. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. Favorite classic cheesy evil villain? I mean, I don't know. Giants. That's us. The first time we met the world serpent. Uh, is Jim from Guatemala likely a bottom 20 player of all time? Um, I don't know. Like, he was in the bottom 10. And a lot of that came from the fact that, uh, again, it's like, I think he has, like, no shot anyway. It's like, I don't feel he does anything, like, actively wrong. Um, where, again, for me, like, Wendy is someone that's, like, kind of the worst of both worlds. Where it's like, she does actively wrong things and also has no chance. Like, Jim is just, like, one of those things. He's just someone that has no chance, but doesn't really do anything actively wrong. So it's like, he's still going to be towards the bottom. But, like, I feel like people that do things, like, actively bad, uh, and, I that like, people that I don't see the potential and do things actively bad are probably going to be lower. So, like, I don't know if t bottom 20 makes sense. I don't know. She was a giant. No, Geo did not know the plan. That's the thing. Like, Geo thought the plan was Cassidy. Uh, to where, like, the vote seemed to flip on Lindsay with him not knowing what the fuck was going on. But he gets saved by him essentially telling Lindsay that her name is out there. Uh, not because he wanted, like, the votes to fall on Lindsay, but because he was trying to get the votes on Cassidy. Um, and he fails at that. But then it ends up like he ends up getting lucked out. Baldi was never sent to find me. Uh, and the fact that he does uh, tracking her all along. End up staying because of that. Ashes. Looked up Brendan Shapiro she on uh, Insta the other day. I trust him. Uh, oh really? He has Whatever cancer? That's really fucking depressing. Is he doing? I thought he was doing like I mean, I mean he probably still she is. But like I know he did a pod. He's doing podcasts with uh, Dalton Ross and was Dalton Ross and Rick We're Devins? Was that what it is? But I know he was, like, doing a podcast. Um, yes. But, yeah, it's depressing that he has cancer. Yes, we are. I think of fleshing out lore in your universe, do I mean, like, I, like, with me, it's like, I plotted out, like, an entire massive, like, history of the planet. Uh, to where, like, I, like, I, and I did that because, like, I wanted to, because, again, I, I'm, was very inspired by one piece uh to where like i wanted to know where everything was going i wanted to like set she things up here. for that along the she way um yeah like I, I always like really respected how like good oda is at uh at foreshadowing But, I mean, in terms of, like, actual advice, it's like, I mean, I'm not good myself. <laughs> uh, Geo gets voted out next episode. Could be at the bottom of the player ranking. Um, potentially. I, I guess, like, potentially. Like, if he, if he just goes out in a boring vote uh, next round, then, like, I think there's probably an argument. But as of right now, it is Lindsay. No. I believe BBUK is going to be a we civilian season, right? Son. I believe. I rank the Turtles. I mean, like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm not, like, a massive fan. Uh, to where, like, I actually have, like, a proper ranking. I had David Sampson way too low. I, I will say, like, I, I kind of get it. Like, I mean, like... Oh, it's like he like to me he is like a very actively bad player, but like also I feel like if he were to play again he would have potential. So like it kind of makes me want to put him higher, but like again what he does is so bad on Kageon that makes me also want to put him low. Um, and like it's so, like he's so bad on Kageon with like no merit to his actual game outside of like I guess cast votes with him. Um, that it wants me to put him that low, but like realistically, yeah, I, I think David Sanson probably would have more potential than a lot of the other people that are around him on the list. Better player out of Jim Lynch or Sonya? Uh, I don't remember who's higher on the first boot ranking. 
They're ne they're back to back though. Goodbye, Finn. I love you. Man. Yeah, goodbye. Even though you're more than likely going to be in Ragnarok. <laughs> uh, they really are all gone. I love like I actually never noticed this until recently that those are actually the frozen giants there. I love like that's something that for some reason I just never actually like paid attention to. Where's my first boot ranking? There we go. Uh, I have I have Jim above Sonya. Which makes me part giant and part God. See, I, I have Jim above Sonya. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure I talked about it in the video. I don't remember why. There's just one thing I don't understand. My name. Uh, yeah, I finished the quarry. Uh, I, I I fucked it up. I fucked up my playthrough. Everyone died but Emma. <laughs> Uh, I, I fucked it up, but, um, I, 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 it's fine. I mean, again, it, it's more of the same of Until Dawn. I think my opinions of the game as a whole are pretty much exactly the same. Uh, I'll probably do a, uh, uh, I'll, I'll replay it at some point on stream. That's the plan. Don't know exactly when. Yeah, I did say Halloween would be cool, but, like, also, like, there's other games I, I want to play for videos. But I think, like, once we're done with all the games for videos, I think that's definitely the uh, the next game we play. I mean, the thing is, like, again, I, I think David Sampson played worse on Kageon than any of those other people than like John Raymond and I, and uh, chicken and stuff however yeah I think like realistic on a return I would probably have more faith in David Sansom than them so I think that's like the tough thing to compromise I think like David Sansom played one of the worst games ever in terms of like his one like appearance uh, where I think he does like so much actively bad uh, at the very beginning of his run to the point where like it dooms him like moving forward uh, like he does so much bad in his first like Duty. I don't know, like, what, like 15 death, minutes? <laughs> life was <laughs> to where, like, his game's pretty much lived. done. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He was but, again, like, realistically, yeah, I, I would have more faith in him on a return than happy. most of those other people. He inspired us to uh, oh, yeah, Nick was infected. We were machines of war, uh, he technically wasn't dead. Was in us. That was his name, Nick, the British yes. guy. Uh, everyone else was actually dead. I, 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 I love how, like, I was trying to keep everyone alive as for as long as possible, and I fucked it up so bad that everyone ended up dying. <laughs> Except for Emma. Uh, I just found that so funny. But like, I, I intend on doing, like, an actual proper playthrough on, on, uh, on stream, hopefully. Then, knowing me, it'll probably end up being a disaster again. Uh, definitely. Okay, cool. Um. This is definitely not a loading screen? Or not, I guess not a loading screen, but it is loading things, right? There we go. Uh, hey, I don't remember, like, who's just Smith? But, um, what's his name? The guy's a deep voice. I did find him funny. Uh, what's his name? Ryan? Is that his name? But well, like at the end of the day, it's like it was like a lot of the like it's a lot of the same from Until Dawn. Um, like obviously similar gameplay, similar. Like what is going on? <sighs> there. Okay. Cool. Um. Oh, why was it stuck on the white screen for whatever? Uh, whatever. I think Tales from Mary is good, or at least has a good concept. I think it has a cool concept, uh, which is obviously why I made it. Um, is it actually good? I think that would be determined on like how it ends up being written. Was it most sad that died? I mean, like, um, like I had Abby die like out of the blue. That was disappointing. <laughs> Um, being killed by Nick. Uh, I had, um, 
Caitlin and Dylan? That was his name, right? They died at the very end, at the point where I was like, oh, I really fucked this up at this point. Uh, and then, like, Laura and... Ro Again, his name's Ryan, right? Like, they died um, towards the end, too. I don't know. Like, I, like really, it's, like, uh, definitely at the point like where I was towards the end, I realized, like, everyone's actually dying here. I was like, oh, fuck. Because, like, I didn't realize how bad I fucked it up until, like, the very tail end of it. Because, like, I mean, I didn't have anyone until, like, the last, like, 30 minutes or so. I didn't have anyone but, um, but Abby die. Like, Abby died, like, what was that, chapter 7, 6, 7, somewhere around there? Um, but everyone survived until the final chapter, and then just everyone fucking died at the very end. Uh, oh, I'm going back to Midgar. Before we return to Midgar, uh, when's the first boot ranking? Uh, the Survivor one, it's, uh, the first week of... 2023. It's like one of my first videos for 2023. Uh, yeah, as of right now, it's scheduled for the 7th. But, we'll see. Ragnarok. It probably, like, I'd be surprised if it doesn't come out then. Snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. Where are flaws Power Rangers in space? I mean, there's some really shit episodes. I'm telling you, it's I can feel it in my scrotum. Uh, like, what was that episode called? The, um, the one with, like, Ashley's grandma? Like, one of the worst episodes in the history of the show. Um... Do you have to listen to them? No. Uh, they hear about Amaroth? Uh, what was it? That her, like, she's being abused by her husband or something? Um, like, I've heard, like, briefly, but I don't know any, like, details or anything. There's a route where everyone can become infected? Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, actually, that's kind of interesting. I didn't even think about that. So, yeah, there's, like, I was, like I'm assuming there's a scenario where everyone's dead. But there's, and then the, a scenario where everyone's alive. But there's also, yeah, like a scenario where everyone's infected, too. So, like, that kind of adds, like, a bit more, um, scenarios there. Uh, next video for Wednesday, it's Assassin's Creed 3. So, most people don't care. Uh, like, next Saturday will be, uh, luckiest moments for every winner. I should I just fast travel back? We might as well get the Thor scene, right? Yeah, uh, Caitlyn accidentally die in the freezer after banning Dylan. Yeah, I I had her go try to. I think what happens is that I had the choice between that or saving Dylan, and I decided to save Dylan. They both died. But yeah, like they both died the very very end. Uh, home. There we go. Then, yeah, like, Abby was killed by Nick. Um, Jacob was his name. He got killed by the werewolf Nick while in the cage. Because I didn't save him. <laughs> accidentally. Um, as, like, I tried to save him, failed at it, and then, like, it made it worse to where uh, he ends up being killed by by the werewolf Nick. Um... Casting the serpent and who's the other one who else died that is mad. oh yeah laura and ryan died uh who who they get killed by i actually don't remember who they got killed by but they got killed in the same scene towards the end yeah i didn't realize what i was doing with the cage with jacob uh to where like i just like picked random ones and realized that yeah there probably was something i could have figured something out with here um, but it was like too late by that point. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Uh, would Phil from uh, Brains of Bond be one of the best first boots globally? Yes. Uh, I think it's spoiler for the Australian Survivor one. He's or their number one. Okay, 
Uh, top five Survivor episodes of all time. Uh, top of my head, I, I don't know if I could do Sleep. top five. But uh, I do intend on doing a video on it at some point. Like, I mean, Kageyama Merge episode is obviously up there for me. Um, John Hennigan boot is up there. Uh, what other individual episodes? Like banana etiquette, probably, and then uh, merge episode. Here's villains. No, I didn't force open the cabin. So you're talking about like at the the beginning? I didn't. And that led to um, Abby and like other care. Who was with her again? I don't remember. Like it led to them getting attacked, right? But I saved them from that attack. Only for Abby to die later, anyway. <laughs> um, actually, I, something I kind of realized. So, like, I don't know if this is true, but I feel like a lot of the decisions that I made, I made because I was assuming I was saving people, and it turned out those decisions fucked those people over to where they end up dying because of those decisions. I'll see you later, Waluigi. Um, but yeah, because like I made like so I like as. Who was it? Was it Ryan that you're running? Like, when you're going to try to save Nick while he's being carried away by that big guy, um, like, I caught up to him and saved him from it. But I realized by doing that, that made it so he wasn't in the cage um, until later, which means that that opened up the opportunity for him to kill Abby, which is when, like, which is what leads to Abby dying, right? Uh, or is like obviously I'm sh assuming there's other choices that factor into that. But like if it wasn't for that, he would have been in the cage to where Abby wouldn't have died at least in that way. Um, and then also it's like by me trying to open the cage for the Jacob thing, I fucked it up to where I accidentally opened the cage for n the werewolf Nick. To where when everything opens up, it's like werewolf Nick kill. And that might not factor into anything actually. Now I think of it because maybe the cage would have opened up anyway. And either way, Jacob would have died. But either way, like I feel like there are things I did that I did with like good intentions, only for it to turn out that that actually like fucked me over. But uh, I, I, I plan redeeming myself when I play the quarry again, which again I'll probably do on stream at some point. But yeah, again we'll probably stay live for a bit still. Yeah, let's get through this. Um, even though we're done with the game, us? but are you ready? It's only yeah. what two twenty-five. So. I had the weirdest dream. Fimble winter was ending, and Thor came for us. But yeah, we're done with God of War. So uh, I, I don't know what we're gonna stream. I still don't know what I'm gonna stream next. Again, it's the debate between Tomb Raider 2013 or Heavy Rain. Worry about it tomorrow. Today. I think I might go Heavy Rain, based on how I'm thinking about things right now. Because, like, I feel like, one, I'm more secure in doing the Quantic Dream games. Like, I'm definitely doing retrospectives of those next year. Um, where, like, Tomb Raider 2013, I want to do a retrospective of, but I'm not, like, fully sold on doing it. So, like, even though that one comes earlier, I want to, like, I would rather, like, do those other three that I, like, I know for sure I'm going to do. Um, and also with Tomb Raider, it's, like, the issues that, like, I want to play the other two after I play the 2013 one. To where by doing that, that would like make this like pretty big gap in between uh, the games that I need to play. Where like it makes more sense to just get all four games I need to play out of the row first and then play Rise and Shadow, which I don't want to do videos on. So, I don't know. Yeah, Quantum Dream does have a lot of uh, icky shit around them, right? I like workplace allegations and everything. So obviously that's not great. First boot ranking. Um, did you not rank Shane? Oh, Shane's at four. Okay. Uh, I I I made my list. I do I have it here? I do not have it in my shortcuts. But I don't know, I, I made it somewhere. But I'm pretty sure mine's like slightly different. Where the fuck is it? There we go. Okay, now won't open. Okay, there we go. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, to be fair, the bottom is pretty much the same. But I have, like, some people, like, towards the top a bit more jumbled around. But Phil is number one, though. Thoughts on Jackie's uh, run? I mean, eh. Not super notable. Um, yeah, it's kind of just there up until, like, week five. And then she gets screwed over by Vanessa. And then just gets taken out unceremoniously. Oh. Like, I know a lot of people, like, were rooting for her by that by the point she goes home, but it's like, I don't know. Don't want to see much, uh, there. Uh, oh, where do I want to go? I guess. Uh, looking at Corey's cast, uh, Tommy say... Is Shaban? How do you say that name? He's convinced the giants hold Let's the key see. to changing his fate when Ragnarok comes. They are the Aesir's oldest enemies, after all. Siobhan? And it's their army that's supposed to do him in in the end. But more than Siobhan? that, yeah, Siobhan. Okay. the gifts of prophecy. He wants to know what they know and see. Yeah, who is in it? Like, I, I haven't looked. So obviously, I know like Brenda's song. He's in it. Uh, David Arquette was wisdom. there, like in my playthrough at least. Ah. He was there for like Remind 10 minutes and that's it. Uh, I would assume he shows up more if I didn't fuck things up, but I don't know. Um, so Siobhan Williams is Laura Kenny. I don't know who she is. Um, yeah, I don't think I've watched anything she's been in. Uh, Max is a character. <laughs> Let's see. I, like, I don't feel like I've heard of most of these people still. Like, I, I was in a new brand of song. Father, new Ariel Winter. David Arquette. Oh, that was Ethan Sir. Okay. Or Supley? Is that Whatever. He's from My Name is Earl, right? And remember the Titans. Um, but yeah, I didn't realize he was the one that played the big guy. Yeah, I'll say that. Yeah, I don't know many of these other people. Yeah, I don't know who Ted Raimi is. Who's Ted Raimi? Oh, okay. I actually... Okay, I, I know who Ted Raimi is. But I, I, like, I wouldn't know him... But well, I mean, one he's yeah, Sam Raimi's brother. But like, uh, yeah, I wouldn't have like huh. instantly picked him out. I guess. I don't know. Um, is this a DLC? What is DLC? No, there's there's no God of War DLC. Um, oh, is that who? Is that the like he's the main kid in Detective Pikachu? Is that what that is? I, I never watched Detective Pikachu. I guess he is. How old is he then? Wait, he's 27? Wait, he's my... <laughs> okay, I didn't realize he was that old. Wait, how old was he when Detective Pikachu... Yeah, that was three years ago. I I thought, like, the main character in Detective Pikachu was, like, 15. Like, the fucking actor is 24. Okay. I love his voice, though. And like, like <laughs> I don't know, it's just so funny. Um, but yeah, I haven't done any like I haven't bothered like looking at anything quarry related at this point. Like I haven't like done any like research into like all the different endings and uh, like people's opinions on things or whatnot. But, again, I, I liked it. It was fine. Again, like, it's pretty much on par for Until Dawn for me. I, I think for me, like, Until Dawn probably, like, stands out more. So, like, the quarry just kind of feels like kind of just them redoing it. But it's fine, though. Jedi is the old man in Troy Become Human. Wait, is he, he's the um, Marcus's. Uh... Closely intertwined than you might imagine. 
for instance, uh, the giants and they him. But was it like caretaker guy or the guy he's Odin. taking care of? Whatever. Good point. Um, so Thor's have that's have really happened. random. Where? What was his Odin name? Odin I had him in my uh, past for Odin. in my PlayStation Survivor series thing I did. And after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. Lance Herrickson. For a while there, he really turned on it the was a Carl? Was happy. that his name? He Carl? Interested in making her something. Happy. Oh my god, he's done like a billion fucking things. Recall them all. The yeah, Carl Manfred. Yeah, yeah. That's him. All had worked out better than I could have yeah, what a great character. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, wait, wait. He's Hackett in Mass Effect? Some of her Vanier magic. Another choice she would live to bitterly regret. What? Sadly, how have I not known this until now? What? To persuade him that peace was the only I didn't know that was the same fucking. Ki oh, that's so weird. Didn't never let go of his obsession. Fucking hack is the same guy that plays fucking Carl Manfred. Oh, uh, it's so random. Experimentation and new levels of depravity. I had to pull a Dave from Survivor. Um, I have, I had to propose to just a random Survivor that I had never fucking met. Um, and probably Gabby. Yeah, I, I feel like the answer would probably be Gabby. I feel like she's probably the person that I like. I feel like I would get along with the most out of the survivors. Um, or the survivor women, I guess. Favorite character from Total Drama? I don't really have one. They're all whatever. They're all parody characters. Uh, was Fairplay tough to rank on a first boot ranking? Um, yes and no. <laughs> not, like, not really that tough to rank. But a weird person to rank. I, it's probably, like, the, the better way to phrase it. I don't know. But, like, I, like, I knew where to rank him. Characters you like more in Quarry? Um, I think for me, I'm kind of like... A, like I think the characters in the Quarry are probably like... Like a bit less generic. Where like I feel like Until Dawn is like pretty much just following... Like horror movie cliches like through and through. Where I feel like uh, the Quarry probably like has a lot more... Uh, like mixing of like stereotypes. Where I even thought, like, I, I thought about this during my playthrough, is that, like, I was kind of, like, running through, like, the comparisons to Until Dawn. Uh, and, like, I feel like, yeah, like, it's like, there's a lot of, like, comparisons. It's that a lot of those comparisons are, like, mixing things from, like, certain characters into, um, into each other. It's like, you have, like, um, like, Emma and, uh, like, Jacob, who are kind of, like, a mix of, like, Emily and Matt and... And Mike and I don't remember her name. The actress is Megan Martin. I remember that. Uh, Jessica? Is that her name? But I don't know. Um, but I, there's a lot of like mixing of characters. I feel like in uh, from like characters in Until Dawn uh, to the quarry. What's the ranking decision that uh, you've made on a channel that people were most upset by? Um, I feel like there's a lot, right? I know poverty. I know my runner-up ranking has a lot. Like, I know people were upset by poverty being too low. People were upset by Chrissy being too low. Um, which, dude, I think I kind of rectified the Chrissy one. When I remade the list, though, I'm sure there's still probably people that still say she's too low. But I 100% stand by the poverty one. Um, by the way, I'm, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm probably just going to like just do random shit. It doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, that was an improvised line? Okay, well, I guess that kind of makes sense. I, was, I did find a lot of the humor really like cringy in uh, the quarry. Like the entire like beat, like I, I really did not click with like the first like half of the game or so. 
Maybe I feel like the game was like just trying like way too hard to be funny and like it just wasn't funny to me. Andreas, follow me. Uh, what'd you miss? I'm talking about uh, the quarry right now. You know, waking up when live stream ends. I mean, yeah, yeah, we finished the game, but um, I'll probably be live for like another like 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, from Total Drama in the Final Two, who is more of a main character this season? I mean, Gwen is more of a main character. But to me, I feel like the Owen win fits more with the series. So I feel like for what the show is trying to be, I feel like it makes a lot more sense for Owen to win. To where, again, like it is supposed to be this like parody of Survivor. Uh, and I think in that situation, it makes like uh, it's like a lot more humorous of an outcome for Owen to win instead of Gwen. Oh yeah, I, I would say I did. I definitely had George too high. Uh, Don, I think is like I, I think you could still debate it, but I, I definitely had George too high. Yeah. Thinking that was like immediately after Brinch Braun, right? Is uh, Fair Play technically a worse first boot than Wendy Joe? No. I mean, okay. Spoiler for first boot ranking. Fair play's number one. <laughs> I mean, I've said that in the former stream anyway. Um, but like, yeah, fair play's like far and away number one. Like, fair play's the only first boot that like legitimately isn't even really a first boot. And like, that was the tough thing about like that was the tough thing about placing him is that he's not a, like he's technically like for all intents and purposes he was not going to be the first boot. And, like, only is a first boot by his own accord. Um, and that being an accord based on the fact that he had literally just, like, gotten his teeth knocked out by Danny Bonaducci. Um, and, like, they wouldn't let him take his pain meds. So it's, like, like, based on, like, how he was playing, again, he was never going to be the, like, boot in that first round until, like, he had to be taken out, essentially. But they just wouldn't let him quit. So essentially, he got voted out. But like, for all intents and purposes, like he, like it was more so a quit, which is why I'm like I struggle with like placing him on the list because it's like he he's number one because he kind of has to be. But it's like really it should have been a quit, and really it probably should have been Mary. I guess at that point that should be on the list. But like he's technically voted out, so I have to include him. I, I think if it was a quit, and too fair, even if it was like a norm, like even like a, like Paloma quit, I think Paloma would still be, like if I was including Paloma on my first boot ranking for Big Brother, she would be pretty high. Even though that's like an, like a more like actual quit. Um, but like again, Fair Plays is like, he quits because like he was literally in like so much pain that he should have been medevaced. <laughs> Uh, like he was in like he literally just had his teeth knocked out. Um, uh, it's like it's just such a like a like a wonky situation there. Oh, do I have to reel it back up? Yeah, don't care enough. <laughs> I mean, is there anyone that's, like, directly inspired by a uh, Survivor contestant? Like, I feel like with Total Drama Island, like, it's a lot of people, in, like, it's people inspired by, like, stereotypes and, um, and by archetypes more so than it is about, like, specific Survivor people. Uh, like, is there anyone that's, like, a direct comparison? Like, I don't feel like there's anyone that, like, comes to my mind. Where, like, really, it's more so, like, it feels like it's, uh, more so about, like, high school, like, stereotypes and, like, I don't know, like, archetypes. Is Tia number two? Uh, I, I think so. I'm pretty sure. Because also Tina, yeah. Tina would have been number one if it wasn't for uh, the wonkiness of Fair Play. 
the only other video game uh, Siobhan Williams was in is Dragalia Lost. Yeah, I've never even heard of it. Yeah, it is a shame that... I mean, like, too fair, production didn't like him that much to begin with. But, yeah, it is a shame that, like, that's kind of their reasoning now for, like, never bringing him back. To where, like, I feel like at that point, they kind of brought him back just because it felt like they had to. Because like, it would just feel weird to not bring back Johnny Fairplay on All-Star season uh, for, like, the first, like, like, first real opportunity he had. Um... But then, like, yeah, like, once he, like, quits the game, it's like they kind of are able to use that as an excuse to say, like, yeah, we, we, that's why he's never coming back. When it's like, yeah, like, I, him and Jeff obviously don't like each other. And, or, to be fair, I, I, like, Jeff doesn't like fair play. I, I, fair play is, like, probably, like, whatever. Worst character in total drama? I mean, like, none? I don't know. They're... they're like, I don't, there's arc, I don't, I, like, I don't have, a, again, like, that's the thing about the total drama. It's like, I don't have opinions on these things because, like, they're just plot devices. Like, they're just, like, um, they're just, like, there for jokes. Like, none of them are actual proper characters. Like, they're all there to represent a stereotype and are used to make jokes about that stereotype. Like, I will say, I, I feel like the Owen jokes, like, are the least, um, like, I, I feel like, again, they just don't click, like, fucking fart jokes and everything, like, are just so fucking stupid. Um, so I really didn't like, like, Owen's role on the season. Doesn't Brianna, uh, I always liked Brianna. I know of a place that may contain some useful. I knew that's because I thought she was hot, but um, yeah, I mean, obviously outside that, not really much going on there. Yeah, I, I think top five most forgettable people. I mean, I think Janet and Jean from Amazon are up there. <laughs> Where I literally just wrote that in my script the, of like the two, like two of the most forgettable people in the history of Survivor are Janet and Jean, which is funny because like Jean gets screen time in Amazon. It's just that she's so fucking forgettable, even despite that. I'll see you later, biggest party. Katie and Sadie? I mean, yeah, that's... Like... Yeah, they're there. And who, who, who's, um... Like, the jock guy? He has, like, nothing to do. The one that, like... Uh, that... Boy. What the fuck's her no name? One. Lindsay? Is that her name? Look, that, like, the one that she's, you. like... Likes that guy has like nothing to do. So much bigger than I imagined. Come. Uh, I don't believe there's an official date yet for the challenge, right? Which is like Challenge Australia, which is like really weird considering it's next month. Get yeah, Tyler. Fuck is Tyler? Mariah and Mariah would be up there. Unforgettable players. Yeah, Erica from Fiji. I mean, like, Erica from Fiji is like my definitive answer for like most forgettable people. But like, she's kind of like become that for me to where like she's not as forgettable because I think of her as the most forgettable. But yeah, realistically, yeah, like she's up there. I think Brianna from Guatemala is up there. Um. I think Mariah will get there, but, like, obviously it's just too recent. Now, like, Eve from uh, Nicaragua. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird because, like, obviously I'm someone that, like, I know everyone. So, like, I don't feel like I'm, like, the proper person to, like, talk about, like, the most forgettable. Like, Morgan, I feel like you still hear Morgan talked about as, like, she's the magician's assistant. I think that's something at least, like, somewhat notable where people talk about that. Oh, yeah, the Vanuatu men also. Yeah, like the, uh, probably, actually, who's the most, actually, I guess everyone has, like, a little thing there, right? Because, like, Brooke is the first boot. 
JP is a lunatic um, from like at post show. Uh, you have uh, Brady is, was the FBI agent, and then John Kenny is the model that made it the furthest out of them. So it's like they all have like something like very minor uh, that's like somewhat notable. Odin's wrath was fierce and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, she knew her vulnerabilities and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to... Yeah, I find, uh, that's stupid too, yeah. The, like the, uh, like Eva and Izzy return like halfway through or whatever. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. Je yeah, Jenna, Jenna Bauman, that's her name, right? Yeah, she's definitely up there. Hey, if it wasn't for her and Seabass, I feel like she'd be super forgettable. And too for Seabass himself is like not super memorable either. Uh, yeah, Julia, Julia from 38, I feel like I remember more just because of her like being so upset that she got a purple edit. That makes her like a bit more memorable for me. But, like, if we're talking about, like, roll on the seas, actually, for then, even then, like, she has this, like, big flame out at the end. So at least there's that. Oh, yeah, Ashley from Palau. I mean, Ashley from Palau, I, I remember for reasons. But outside of that, yeah. Kim Mullen. I feel like Kim Mullen's up there. Jeff, also. Both Jeff and Kim. Super forgettable. I think they're probably the most forgettable showmance. Right? Like, I think, like, Talking about like both members of a showman, I feel like they're easily the most forgettable. Which one is Silas? I, let's look up Silas from the quarry. See, if, yeah, do I? Did I ever? Uh... Oh, it's the uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I never saw Silas. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, Jeff is coconut boy. Yeah, you don't remember? Uh, Je yeah, Je everyone knows Jeff as Coconut Boy. What's that down there? So stupid. They died, uh... Because well, that was from the reunion, right? That like, he said that everyone like calls him now Coconut Boy. I I would say like Duncan, Heather, uh, Gwen are probably the three better characters. Sorry, yeah, I think, like, Duncan at least... Like, I think Duncan and Gwen get at least, like, some sort of character arc. Uh, to a degree. Like, Heather, like, is obviously just very, like, cartoonish. Um, but it's, like, such a massive, like, presence that... She's, like, pretty notable, but... Yeah, I don't know. Um... Oh, yeah, Julia, Julia was, like, very upset about how she was, like, portrayed. Then also, like, she, like, um, obviously she's, like, uh, was very, like, anti-Joe uh, and was, like, upset that, like, they didn't show, uh, like, him saying the N-word and, like, that. So, like, there's a lot of stuff going on with Julia. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Patricia, Patricia is also up there. Um. Skinny Ryan, I think, is pretty forgettable in the grand scheme of things, but I, I, I don't know if he's, like, in the top, like, ten. Yeah, who else is that? Like, I feel like, like, the first couple seasons, I feel like everyone there is, like, memorable enough. Especially considering, like, how big Survivor was at that point to where, like, I feel like, like each of them, like, kind of stand out to some degree. Ibra yeah, Ibrahim's pretty forgettable, which is also weird considering he's, like, the final three of Oolong. Which, like, you would think would make him, uh, more memorable there. Dirk, I mean, I think Dirk is definitely the most forgettable of Borneo. But I still think, like, he still gets, like, enough content to where, like, he's more memorable than, like, a lot of other people. Yeah, Nick Brown's also up there, but I think Nick Brown still has like some funny moments. Yeah, Corny, I think Corny would probably be up there in terms of a 
Toll drama we're talking about, right? How did you say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the Giants? There was an incident shortly after the forging of... Yeah, Ryan Ulrich is not as bad as people say. ...and a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the Giant Kings. Yeah, I still think there's a massive chance that Ryan wins. ...victory was still a thing... ...in the Ryan, Devin, Chrissy final three. ...the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace. I, I feel like Bridget was kind of weird, where I feel like they like started her off as like a, um, like a strong, independent woman sort of character, and all of a sudden she just like falls in love with Jeff, and that's like the rest of her storyline. Lisa Kiefer, I mean, Lisa Kiefer's like, I, I remember Lisa Kiefer now. If you were, like, before TEOS, no clue to fuck... I mean, I, I know Lisa Keeper, but, like, not... Like, definitely one of the more forgettable Survivor people, but, um... I believe because TEOS is dubbed her, like, like the most forgettable, and, uh, now, like, ev the most forgettable person for every season is given the Lisa Keeper award. That makes me remember Lisa Keeper. Yeah, Golden Boy, yeah, for Blake. Yeah, that probably leaves, uh, that's what leaves Blake out of the conversation. The Golden Boy stuff. Cecilia is forgettable. Cecilia's definitely up there. I feel like the most memorable thing for Cecilia is she's the one that tell Cand that tells Candace about uh, about Billy. But yeah, outside of that, pretty forgettable. Uh, who else from like uh, Rebecca? Re I mean, Rebecca's probably easily the most forgettable person on Cook Islands. Like, who the fuck is Rebecca? Like, she literally gets nothing. Basically, at least Cecilia has that one moment. Like, I literally could not tell you a single fucking thing about what Rebecca does on that season. Uh, outside, of, like, she, like, had a relationship with Sundra at, at the beginning of the season. That's not Chris. Oh, yeah, Chris is the host, right? Um, yeah. I mean, like, again, yeah, obviously, it's just, like, uh, a parody of... Uh, like production influence and that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean Stephanie getting voted out because of the potato comment. That's like memorable to me. So at least there's that. Angie from Palau. I mean, I feel like she's pretty memorable to me. Like she doesn't do that much on the season, but I feel like she still like stands out though. Oh, Lucy from yeah, she's definitely forgettable. Even, like, Rachel Aiko, um, yeah, like, I, I feel like she, like, it, like, I feel like when I think of Rachel Aiko, I think of, like, oh, yeah, she was in Playboy or whatever, but, like, outside of that, don't really know much about Rachel Aiko. Uh, Cece is also up there, uh, which, yeah, also, rest in peace, uh, Angie from Palau. Yeah, Brad from Cook Islands. I mean, like, I feel like with him, I remember, like, that he was, like, supposedly close to Yule and Becky. But, like, realistically, that's, like, from postseason. Uh, more so than... Because, like, I believe Brad is the person that introduced Yule to his wife, right? Like, that's a thing that I remember. But, I mean, that's, like, postseason. Like, realistically, yeah, he doesn't have much to do on the season. I mean, Ezekiel's, like... To be honest, I... Like, when you say the name Ezekiel on, like, Total Drama, I, I would have, like, to really remember who the fuck he is until you mention the fact that, yeah, he's sexist. So, oh, yeah, he's the, the guy that was the first boot. Uh, Roxy from uh, from Philippines, yeah. But, like, I don't think, like, really in the conversation of, like, all-time most forgettable, but I, I think she is forgettable. Oh, Becky is, like, for sure one of the most forgettable finalists. I think Cassandra is probably up there too. <laughs> I love like with Cassandra, the thing I think of first is uh, water shoes. Um, again, Lisey's another one of those like Dan Foley style characters, where it's like, again, like Lisey definitely like says some very icky things at points, but like there's nothing Lisey can say that makes me take her seriously. Jimmy Johnson's not forgettable. I mean, Jimmy Johnson's, like, probably the biggest, like, 
uh, celebrity the play survivor. And, like, he also, like, has, like, such a massive presence in those first three episodes. Uh, what's the against Lisi? I mean, her doing any meeny miny mo at the start of her uh, jury speech is not great. To be honest, though, again, like, I think that's purely unintentional from her. Like, I don't think that's her, like, realizing the significance of that. But uh, still, it's still a thing she does. Um... Yeah, I mean, Leaf, I think, is, like, yeah, if it wasn't for Leaf being, like, the first, um, little person on Survivor, it definitely Leaf would be, uh, in the conversation, too. Any interest in checking it out? Uh, but yeah, like, I mean, Leafy's, like, overall treatment of the black players is definitely the, something to call out. <laughs> Where it's like all the players that she hates, like, are like, I mean, really, it's like she hates Cassandra and Dreams. Um, and it's like her overall treatment of them is definitely uh, very uh, icky there. Uh, Katie from, I mean, yeah, Katie Hansen. I mean, I feel like I, I personally remember her, but yeah, she's probably like forgettable for most people. Most forgettable season in Survivor history? I mean, Thailand is up there. Like, I think, like, what is the most, like, unimportant season? I think that's probably an interesting question. It's probably, like, Guatemala, right? Like, as much as I love Guatemala, personally, like, it probably is Guatemala. Oh, we're talking about globally? Globally, it would be, like, fucking, like, vi like celebrity... Actually, no, because I, I was going to say celebrity Aust uh, Australian Inspire, but, like... To be fair, if it wasn't for that, then Sam Webb <laughs> wouldn't know what the fuck he was doing on Survivor, so. Um, that had some importance. Oh, Stacey Lee is definitely the most... Free like, that's not even a question. It's like, everyone else is like... I mean, I guess, like, Vusi is also like, who the fuck is Vusi? <laughs> Despite Vusi having, like, seeming to have, like, this massive ego, it's, like, funny that it's Vusi. But, yeah, Stacey Lee is definitely the answer. Yeah, like, I remember Katie for, like, that she was, like, someone that Jeff Probst hated at the time. Uh, and, like, kept on calling her out for challenges. Uh, also, I liked Katie Hansen for other reasons. But, yeah, I, I definitely remember Katie Hansen. But I feel like Philippines is kind of, like, a... Uh, Philippines is kind of a weird spot. Where, like, I feel like that's, like, the last, like... In my eyes, it's kind of like the last old school season two degree, even though it's like technically not old school. Because like I feel like, like because I mean as of right now, I feel like like Heroes vs Villains feels like a good breakoff point for like old school versus new school. But like I feel like Philippines is like the season that I think of. I think obviously like part of that is like Philippines is like when I got back into Survivor, but then also it's like it's a season where like they stopped using like the original music for the show and um, for tribal music, I should say. Um, yeah, it just feels like a that feels like the transition point to a degree. But I, like I feel like everything beyond that feels like it's modern enough to where like I remember everyone. But, yeah, I feel like Philippines does have, like, oh, like, Dana. Like, where if it wasn't for her medevac, would also be extremely forgettable. Artis is pretty forgettable. Leanna, Rose Lee, um, they're both super forgettable. I mean, um, Leanne was the first boot, right? So, Rose Lee, the non-first boot, is probably more forgettable, but they're both super forgettable. I, I remember Jay from One World, Jay Byers, but I'm sure most people, I mean, I don't know, I, I guess some people probably would. Ranked Survivor Christian, I'm sure there's more Christians than just that. But what, Coach 1, Shan 2, Tasha 3, Brandon 4, Roxy 5. 
I remember Michael Jefferson, but then I remember Michael Jefferson as one of the most like forgettable people. And that, and he was on uh, Naked and Afraid. Um, but I, yeah, I, I remember Michael Jefferson. And to be fair, Michael Jefferson's like boot is like a pretty important one, where like that's where like Kim takes full control over the game. It's like at least that's something. Uh, yeah, I, I would be interested in the first journal ranking. Um, it's just that I feel like as of right, like for right now, it feels a bit repetitive to do right away, considering obviously it's like pretty similar to the merge boot ranking. Like it's a lot of the same people. Uh, so like I would definitely do it. It's just that I feel like I need a bit more time, like spaced out in, uh, between that and the merge boot ranking. So like maybe like what year would that be? Twenty twenty four ish because i just did the merge boot rank at the beginning of this year right so i feel like a, a little bit more time for first year ranking yeah i knew about david Gurton being on uh, naked and afraid wasn't he also on a naked dating show or something wait you don't remember bob dog i remember bob dog fucking chopped the fish's heads off in like one chop uh, and also he was in the, uh, he was in, uh, Casa de Charmin. Ruth Marie is forget like, if, Ruth Marie is only memorable because of Bob Dog. Where it wasn't for Bob Dog, like, pulling Ruth Marie <laughs> around by her shirt, uh, I would not remember who the fuck Ruth Marie is. No, Dan Barry is fun. Like, Dan Barry is a funny character to me. Uh, he, he's memorable enough. Atreus. To me. Krista? Which Krista are we talking about? Krista Klump? I, I would say it's forgettable. Uh, I would not... I don't know for sure if that's something Dave, uh, David Gurton did, but I would not be surprised if that's something David Gurton did. Semhar, I mean, like, I, I remember Sem, like, wh I feel like first boots are kind of tough to be, like, the most forgettable. But even beyond that, I feel like Semhar has the poetry stuff that makes her somewhat memorable. Liz Kim is forgettable. Yeah, Liz Kim's definitely forgettable. Especially considering, like, she's one, she's the last fofo to be voted out before the merge. And it's, like, still, like, who the fuck is she? Though, too fair, again, that's, that's Samoa. <laughs> Liz Marka, I remember Liz Markham. But to, I guess, like, within season, she is forgettable. Like, I remember her for, like, she dated Stephen Fishback pre, uh, like, before the show. Like, that's something notable, I guess. And then also she's, like, isn't she, like, one of the most intelligent people to ever play Survivor? Like, highest IQ or something like that. Oh, yeah, Michael Jefferson also stole from the women. That's also a thing. Oh, I mean, Melinda is really forgettable, but yeah, yeah, she is, like, only 32, and, like, on the, oh, and Duper, Sari was also, right? They were, like, the same age, but yeah, they were both on the old women tribe. It is fun, like, I mean, like, 100%, um, Panama was cast, like, without that twist in mind, right? Like, they cast first, and then, re then they decided to do that at the last second. Yeah, Tom, Tom Laidlaw is also pretty forgettable. I think out of modern players, I think he's definitely up there. Ah, uh, where should I go? Oh, have, I haven't unlocked the other realms, have I? Do you not just automatically get them in... That's kind of annoying. Oh, you can't go back to Jotunheim? Hmm. Say Sandra's pretty forgettable? I mean, obviously. Who the fuck knows who Sandra is? Hung himself by the neck from Yggdrasil's yeah, yeah, Bob Dog was like... Because Bob Dog was older than Melinda and Suri, right? Or like was very close. Like they were like the same age or something. I'm pretty sure that was the thing, right? That like it's dumb that he was on the young person tribe while they were on the old women tribe. But yeah, it's 100%. Like they, they cast before they thought of that idea and then they split it. Like late into the process for some reason. I don't know why they did it, really. 
Just because the Ben, again, like for me, just because the Ben, uh, it's like, again, at first boot, but then also someone that like Jeff Probst loves for some reason. I don't feel like the, sh I feel like the Sean, like I think Al finalists, like maybe, but I think grand scheme, like he's definitely never going to be in conversation for most forgettable. The sweet smell of honeysuckle and blood. And yeah, Romeo, uh, like by the sky, maybe the light elves are in control of the light this time. Explain. But you see, uh, the light I don't know, elves Melissa, I mean, yeah, Melissa. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's almost as if we never saw Melissa McNulty. But did you also know that control of the light has changed hands no less than two hundred and thirteen times? Timber team at high. Uh, she's high, but not as high as I thought she was going. Right Where, like when I think of Timber Tina, I do think of like, okay, she was screwed over from her. Um, like she was obviously still dealing with the. Um, oh fuck! With the. Um, why, why can't? Why can't I think of the word? Grief of her. Uh, she was still like grieving over her son's death and everything. But, like, I did end up rewatching parts of the premiere. Um, and it's like, she does do some bad work, though. So it's like, I mean, I, I still want to, and like, I still want to put her high because of that. And, like, she got, because of her son. And also, like, she got outplayed by Sari, which is, again, Sari. And then also, um, she was on such a small tribe. So it's like, I do feel like there are, like, like some unlucky factors there. But, like, I, I, I feel like it's, uh... It's tough to put her like towards the very, very top. So, clear this up for me. Spot all fine means land. Oh yeah, Liliana is definitely up there too. Right? But yeah, I feel like Liliana is like so forgettable that I remember her for being forgettable though. But yeah, she's definitely up there. Aren't dwarfs supposed to be from Yeah, I knew about that. Uh, Gary's the only non-recruit. Then you are vastly more perceptive than the Aesir. They're the ones who apparently can't tell the difference. And they're the ones who came up with that name. Dwarves actually call their home realm Nidavalia. Did I call Tina? I thought. From Svartalfheim at all. Not even a bit. They're just elves of another color. Nobody knows who came first, but they all come from Alfheim. Why do they fight all the time? There's Melissa. Uh, she was the but 20th player on Survivor Fiji. Huh? It is the way of that the world. quit right before the show started. Well, that's and that's sad. why Fiji starts with 19 people. Uh, it's so weird at least he was initially on the majority alliance of Moto. I mean, yeah, that's why I didn't have her as the worst, like in my top 10 worst players. It was pretty much solely because of that fact. <laughs> He's like, pretty much everything else is really bad. But like, at least she was in the majority at one point. But yeah, Melissa was also a recruit. Everyone was a recruit except for Gary. But like to be fair, like Anthony was a big fan. So like he was recruited, but like at least he was a fan of the show. But um Yeah, I'm pretty sure like most people there uh did not know the show well. And also like a lot of those people were carryovers from Cook Islands. To so where for Cook Islands, obviously they needed the uh Needed to recruit a whole bunch of people to get the uh, diversity thing sorted out. Uh, well, I mean, they, like, I mean, I guess they probably needed to to a degree, but like, I was just like, they probably could have found people that applied, but like they didn't. The um, but um, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, the, like the Fiji, like a lot of those recruits were people that were recruited for Cook Islands. But then they transferred over to Fiji when they didn't make the final cut for Kirk Islands. So it was essentially them just like using a whole bunch of people they recruited previously. Uh, I would doubt like who who's the I don't know, who's the heaviest probably like someone like a Scott Pollard is probably like the heaviest person to play Survivor, right? It's like Scott Pollard or like Cliff Robinson or one of those, you would think. Um, why was Rocky vote out before Lisi? Because Lisi was a number for the people who had the majority. Because what, it was Edgardo and Al Edgardo and Alex obviously had Lisi on her on their side, and then 
that was enough for a tie. At that point, his dream's really going to rocks to fucking save Rocky, who he also did not have a good relationship with. I did not mean to do that, but fine. <laughs> We're going back into the trench again? Why not? Um, our merge episode put Eddie at number two, but don't think Leaf did uh, a lot worse. I mean, for me with Eddie, it's more so the fact that, like, he stays in for so long, but, like, n pretty much never does a single thing right. But, I mean, again, like, at that point, it's, like, uh, they're all pretty close. Is Erica here her villain? I'm neither. Like, she's... She exists. <laughs> uh, Lindsay... I think Lindsay would probably be considered a hero. But I don't know. I guess, like... Well, yeah, I, I think she'd be considered a hero. But it's, it's kind of weird when you think about, like... Because, like, she's obviously, like, in contrast to Jonathan. But, like, I feel like they would want Jonathan as a hero. So, like, would that make her a villain? But then... I don't know. She, I, I think she, they would put her on hero, though. Just of, like, physical strength and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, like, I don't think Erica is either. Uh, race divide theme is the worst tribe division. I'm mean, like, I think it's, like, an inch. Like, it's. Uh, it's weird because, like, it's. It's obviously, like, bad on paper for sure. Um, I think one, it's interesting in the fact that it causes production to like it forces them to have diversity on the show. Um, though obviously, like I think the way they do diversity now is obviously a lot better. The where like now they're like staying diverse while also um, like still getting people who actually want to play the game. While back then they just weren't; <laughs> they just got random people just for the sake of diversity. Um, but I think that's like kind of a positive um, to where they kind of force them to like branch out a bit more. But, and also I think like it's a kind of interesting, like it's interesting to see, like it's interesting as a social experiment, I think. Um, like obviously they didn't do it because of that. They did it because they wanted ratings for being uh, like they were trying to be like controversial. Well, I do think as a, like a social experiment, like seeing how these people who are being stereotyped by their race and see how they like that affects their gameplay. So sort of like we see like uh, Nate have to deal with the struggles of uh, having voted out the other black players, and we see like uh, Yule have to like try to set an example for like Asian men and wanting to um, like not like play like deceiviously and stuff like that deceiviously to like ruin like uh like or like to cause any like stereotypes there and like we see like cowboy play into the stereotypes and be like ostracized from his tribe because of that it's like I, I feel like there are like interesting things there um that come from the cook from the like the race division theme but yeah it's like obviously just would have probably been better if they just didn't do it I mean, again, for me with the Eddie thing, it's like Eddie was at the bottom mostly because of his like individual game uh, on that season. Like, I think that's always the tough thing to reconcile with like the player um, rankings is because like obviously like the intention is to rank based on how they would do on multiple appearances. But you're doing that based on only information that you have from the one time they played for like a lot of these people. Uh, so because that's like you are still basing it around the one time they played. Uh, it's just that, like, because, like, everything else is pure speculation. Where it's, like, the most proof that you have is their actual, like, first time, like, their actual gameplay the first time around. So it's, like, it's tough to be purely based around, um, 
like potential without like purely leaning into like stereotypes of like oh he would like Eddie would do well because he's like a strong guy and like that sort of thing and like so like with the Sonya and Jim Lynch and like they would just do bad because they're um because they're old <laughs> stuff like that uh who's the most forgettable survivor YouTube content creator? I mean like I would be sure I wouldn't know who the fuck they are if Heroes Resistance 2 is Mariana Locke, I mean, I, I guess I don't know. I think Marianne is a very likely returnee next time to do a theme that fits her. But um, I don't know why it has to be like Heroes of Villains, and then also they're not doing Heroes of Villains too. Uh, do I think having four tribes again would be an interesting return? Not really. Uh, I think it just like I think four tribes for like maybe one round would be fine. But I think in general, like four tribes is like still has the same issue with three tribes, to where like there's just so little room to maneuver. Who's a better player, Matt Elrod or Jason Siska? Again, based on the games they played their individual seasons, like, probably Jason, just because he survives more votes. Um, but Matt Elrod, I think, is the better player when thinking of, like, how they would do uh, on multiple appearances. Wait, is there a thing I'm supposed to hit? That's mad again. I don't, like, I'm not bothering to really play the game at this point. Yeah. Oh well. Atreus, follow me. How to redo on another season? Uh, don't fully know. Just because it's like I don't know. Like I think with fraternity seasons, like it's a matter of like who they're with, who. Uh, like how much of a target they have preseason, uh, which is also determined on who they're with, especially for someone like Suri to where like it's not like a, I don't know, like a Tony or something like someone that has like this massive like target if they were to come back. Like I feel like Suri is like kind of like kind of a middle road, like middle of the road, like threat on a return where like I feel like there's obviously going to be people that are sketched out by Suri. But I feel like people love Suri to the point where, like, there's also going to be people that want to work with her. So, like, I don't feel like she's, like, completely doomed. Which, too far, is, like, how she was in, like, Heroes vs. Villains, which leads to JT going way out of his way to vote her out. So, it's, like, it probably wouldn't work out for her anyway if it is in that uh, sort of sphere, but, no. How low has Jason just gotten to player ranking? I haven't thought about it. I would say probably bottom 100, right? How many players? There's, well, I mean, by the time I eventually do the ranking, there's going to be like 700. So it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll say like bottom 100 at least. Uh, Joshua Brett or the Tims. Uh, I think the Tims are the better team. Uh, I don't remember Josh and Brett's, like, how many times did they get saved by non limbs? Because like Tim and Tim got saved twice, right? Oh, Micronesia player ranking we're talking about? Um, I don't know. He's, prob he's not at the very bottom, at least. Like, would I have him above or below fair play, I think is a funny thing. Oh, it's like he's above Mary. He's probably above... Actually, I don't know, like, Mikey B and Joel, I think, are interesting to rank there. Because, like, Mikey B, I think, is a person that has, like, he, there's a good player in Mikey B. It's that it didn't really, like, he couldn't, like, he didn't end up doing anything with that on Micronesia. Um, and then, like, Joel, like, again, technically, like, had more, like, agency in the game and got more, like, done than Jason. 
Um, well, I also, like, was a massive, like, he, like, was still, like, the cause of his own demise. Then, to be fair, Jason probably would have been... Uh, actually, I don't know. Kathy probably would have been the first boot from New Irai, right? But, still, Jason was not well-liked. So, like, I would not... And, like, oh, I guess it would have been Liza, too. Liza was there. It's like maybe they would have voted Eliza out over Jason, but it would have been one of the two. Yeah, it's like Mikey B, um, like, uh, talking about the split vote was what got everyone confused. To be fair, though, his split vote idea was, like, kind of fucked, if I remember right. To where, like, I, I feel like there was something wonky with it to where, like, it didn't actually even fully make sense. Um... But I don't remember exactly the details of it. Oh yeah, I, I think uh, the traders will be interesting to see like these like pretty good players. I like, guess too fair actually. It is only Cody and Suri that are actually good players, right? Because like outside of that, you have like Rachel, who's again good character, not necessarily a good player. Uh, you have what is Janelle on that? I don't remember anymore. But you have like Stephanie is on it, right? Um, but yeah, like, not necessarily the greatest players in the world. But still, yeah, it will be fun to watch. I think George, Jordy, and Simon would interact. I think it's why that grouping. Uh... Oh, is Simon going to be a villain? I assumed he was going to be a hero. Man, who are the other men? You got Sean and Sam who are heroes, right? And then who's the other guy? Steve? Is Steve a hero or a villain? I guess that's a big thing. I guess... Actually, I guess he would be hero, right? But also, it's like... I don't know. Simon doesn't feel like a villain to me, but... I guess it does make sense. Yeah. Because it's like... I, I guess, like, George and Steve would be, like... The... the like, from a, like evening out the tribe standpoint, I guess they would be the, uh... Look at Paris in there. I, I thought Simon was a hero when we first heard the... Like, when David was involved in everything. Uh... Like, I never thought Simon of as a villain. Like, Simon was an underdog for a lot of his run. Like, he was on the bottom, like, scraping his way through. I never looked at him as a villain. And he gets blindsided by his own allies with like two idols in his pocket. It's like, I don't know how that's like villainous. I don't know what, again, like what am I even doing at this point? Uh, fuck me, it's 3.30, god damn. Uh, which of our winner do I think has the best chance of becoming a... I'm mean, so like a two... I think we talked about it. Like, Chris Underwood probably seems the most likely to be a two-time winner. I think Tommy is also up there. Just, I don't think Tommy would get that chance. Even if he can't Ragnarok, he still hopes to learn enough details to influence the outcome. Remind me later to tell you about the wolves. Yeah, who else is there? Some people call Ozzy a villain. I mean, yeah, like, I, I see villainous aspects, but, like, there's never a, like, Survivor's never going to cast him as a villain, though. Like, there's no fucking way you do Heroes vs. Villains in Survivor US and they put Ozzy on the villains tribe. Do I think All Stars would be the hardest ranking to do? Um, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, obviously I haven't thought about it. I mean, like obviously Boston Rob's one. Beyond that, it's like I mean, I would Amber be two? I guess. Yeah. And then. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, Lex and Kathy would be somewhat high. Uh, like, where do you put Rupert? 
Yeah, where do you put Big Tom? Do I think Ozzy's entitled? Yes. That's not even a question. IOI player ranking? I mean, like, Tommy 1, Lauren 2, outside that. I don't fucking know. Molly or Ronnie? Um, probably Ronnie is last. But it's not by much. I think they're around the same. Who was fourth boot on that season? Oh, it was Chelsea. Okay. Yeah, yeah so I, 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 it would probably be Ronnie or... Like, I, I think it would be Ronnie, but, like, it's pretty close. Is Dean three? I don't know. Uh, like, I think the problem with Dean is that he has no win equity. It's like, the only scenario where Dean wins is if Dan doesn't get ejected and he gets to the end with, uh, with Dan and Nora. Which, to be fair, if, if Dan didn't get ejected, there wasn't... Like, if Nora wins final immunity... Um, like, there's at least a chance of that. Yeah, I mean, like, I, and, like, considering we know that Nora wins Final Immunity, like, there's at least a chance of him getting into that scenario. But also, like, how purposeful would that be? Considering it does seem like from all the post-game press and everything we know, he always intended to go to the end with Tommy and Dan. Does it shock me how well George did in Brains was Braun? I mean, obviously. <laughs> Playing for cele uh, Australian Celebrity Survivor? I don't fucking care enough. Yeah, I'll do it eventually, but, like, it's like, whatever. Imogen won, I guess. I mean... Bottom of a uh, All-Star ranking? Mmm... Probably Rudy, right? I don't know. Yeah, it's probably Rudy. I mean, how do you even rank Jenna Maraska? How how uh, well do I think Imogen would do a Modern Survivor? Not well. I don't think any of them do well. Uh, so who is number three? I mean, like, I don't fucking know. Elaine, maybe? I don't know. Jan I guess to be fair Janet got further anyway. It probably would be Janet. Oh. Like I think it's like Tommy and Lauren one two and it's a massive fucking gap. Uh before three. It's like it it's like not it's like everyone else is like around the same spot. Like I think Dean, Elaine, uh Janet, um Who's before who boots before that? Uh, maybe not Karishma, but like Missy, Aaron, I think they're probably in that sphere. Uh, Kelly, Jamal, to a degree. I mean, Jamal's probably lower. But either way, I, I think they're like all around the same to where like it's it's like not that big of a difference. Um, if Brad Reese invited me to uh, his ranch for Survivor Watch Party. Uh, no, I wouldn't. I don't give a shit. I don't care about meeting Gabler and Brad Reese. And the problem with Chris Underwood is that he's not even there for like two thirds of the game. It's like, how do you even rank that uh, as like someone that didn't get voted out? It's like you can't even properly rank his game without factoring in the fact that he's voted out because he's literally not even there for two thirds of the game. Like if it's like a situation where like Rick, where like Rick doesn't even miss a vote. Oh, no, he does miss a vote. He does miss the Wendy vote, right? But, like, I mean, even then, it's, like, that's a bit more feasible because, like, he's at least there for, like, most of the game that he would have, um, like, not, like, that he would have missed or, or, like, he would have been there. Uh, he's, like, was there for most of the game anyway. It's, like, but, like, Chris Underwood literally wasn't even there. So, it's, like, how do you even, like, assess that without the factor of uh, him being voted on coming back into the game? Rob Dixon, how well do I think he would do a Modern Survivor? Uh, probably as well as Tom Westman. Like, take that for what you will. Um, again, I don't think he's the most, like, flexible player in the world. Uh, I do think he is a bit 
honor bound to a degree. Obviously, he's willing to uh, flip on alliances, but not like I, 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 yeah, I think in a very like Tom esque way, to like only when like absolutely necessary. I think Michelle Capello went on return. Um, mat matters. Like, who she's up. Like, I think she can win. Um, but obviously, like, if she, like how she gets there, like what the cast is, that sort of thing, I think greatly factors into things. I think Erica could do a second win. I think I could also see Erica though being a go at the end on like a winners at war two. Yeah, Marianne. I think Marianne, if she gets to the end again, I think she wins. Um, or at least is very likely to win. Uh, I sh again, don't think she would get there. It's probably number one here versus villains. I don't know. Follow me, Atreus. Because it's like, I, I think Russell had the most control over how the game played out. It's just that he did it in such a bad way to where it's like, like he should be number one, but because of how poorly he... Uh, maneuver like how, how poorly he like manages the jury along the way and everything. It's like it's tough to put him at number one, but also it's like poverty also had like almost no way in equity either. Um, it's like the only people that poverty beats is what Russell and Danielle, and maybe Candace also. Um, but one, she was a major reason why Candace goes home. Also, it's like Danielle. Um, like being booed was like her like failing to save Danielle from the um from Russell. It's like I don't know. When am I gonna buy on Black Friday? I mean like it matters what's on sale Black Friday. I didn't buy that much last year, did I? I think last year I bought everything before Black Friday, I think is how it went. I'm sure I might do some of the thing this year, I don't know. We'll see. Uh there's probably a few games. I don't know. Actually, I don't even know. Like, what has even come out this year? Like, I, I don't know. This is just... Like, I, I've not really cared about... Most of the games that have come out this year. Yeah, I'm looking at a list of games from this year for my... Thing. Yeah, I mean, like... Not... There's really not much. Yeah, I mean, there's really not, like, real... There's nothing I'm really, that like, that excited for. Like, and things I, like, I would be interested in playing, like, are coming out after Black Friday. Like, Callisto Protocol and Crisis Core Reunion, which I'm, I'm, even now I'm not even that excited for, but... Um, New Tales from Borderlands, if that goes on sale, buy that. Yeah, I mean, there's really not much. How else Chris Underwood do on Winners at War? I mean, the actual Winners at War? Probably not that well. On Winners at War 2, I think probably pretty well. Um, I think the problem with this, like with Winners at War, as in Season 40, um, I, I think the issue there is that he's like the new guy to where I think he kind of takes, like because like Nick is someone that like got targeted a lot just because he was considered the new guy. Um... So he was like kind of an easy person to put the target on. I feel like Chris becomes that person. Uh, so I, I realistically, I don't think Chris does that well in Winners at War. But again, I think Winners at War 2, I think he would probably do better. New Tales from Borderlands, it looks fine. I mean, like, it's not by, made by Telltale, uh, which is obviously not great. But uh, I don't know. I'll give it a shot. I'm not expecting it to be that good, though. Yeah, it could have been Fabio that uh that idled out uh Sandra for her own idol. Thoughts on Jesus in terms of what? Uh I'm very anti religion. If you mean like the actual like religious Jesus. <laughs> uh how would Jody do if she was on All Stars three? I'm probably pretty well, but like uh, I wouldn't have expected her to win. So like she had a Ray loss against. I, mean, I guess she didn't necessarily lose against Sean A, but. Um, so I, I would expect 
uh, a lot of those women that made the final to kind of outclass her. No, Colby beats Poverty and Russell. It's not even close. I too fair. I mean, like, where is Candace? I mean, but then Candace was never going to vote Poverty. Uh, I don't think. But I, don't know, I, I guess, like, out of any of the heroes, I guess that would be the better scenario, right? But it's like. Coach, I think, is up for grabs. Pro I'm probably leaning, yeah, probably leaning poverty there. Courtney probably goes poverty. Mm, actually, I guess that's like, yeah, it is probably one of the better scenarios for her. Because I mean, um, again, JT goes Colby, Amanda goes Colby, uh, Candace. Again, I, I think it would be like a bait between the two. I don't think she she could vote Russell, but like, I don't think so. Especially because, like, she would know where all the other votes are landing. I, I, I think she'd go Colby. Um, is that Danielle goes Poverty? Um, Hall six. Rupert goes Colby. Uh, and then Sandra goes Poverty probably. And then Jerry, uh, Jerry would go Colby though. Yeah, so that kind of ruins it. It would be close, though. It would be a very close vote. But I I do think Colby still has the edge. Mainly because I do think Jerry would go Colby over Poverty. Because like, even in the real-life scenario, like Jerry was going to vote Russell until Final Tribal. So, like, it's not even like she was like that pro-Poverty. Colby and Jerry are still friends now? Probably not. I think they're like cordial, but like I doubt they talk that often. Uh, I might as well save, by the way. We're probably done gameplay-wise. Fuck me, it's fucking 340. If uh, Sean won out in uh, Borneo and won, how long? I mean, that's a lot of ifs, considering I don't think he beats anyone in a jury vote. Like, I, I think there's literally no way Sean wins a jury. Like, I think even Sue would beat Sean in a jury vote. So by us saying that he would win, that would radically change his overall game anyway. Do I think Jerry was overhated on All Stars? I mean, was she even that hate? I mean, she was hated from Australian Outback. Like on All Stars, like she was just hated because she was hated from Australian Outback. Uh, I think she was overhated from Australian Outback. Uh, if Noel uh, did win, what do you think her storyline for would be for forty three? Um, like, what do you mean? It would be what her story is now. <laughs> uh, I mean, like in terms of like her game and everything. I mean, like uh, would just have the C. It's like I, I I don't know how you like would even answer that. And people booed her at the reunion because they hated her from Australian Outback. <laughs> Um, again, like everything stems back from Australian Outback. It's like she didn't do anything on All Stars to make people dislike her. They just already disliked her. I I don't think Noelle's winning personally. Jerry beats Poverty and Russell. Uh, Jerry gets all the heroes and then also um, Coach. Yeah, he's what? Coach goes Jerry. Courtney goes Poverty. Um, JT goes Jerry. Uh, Amanda goes Jerry. Candace goes Jerry. Um, Danielle goes Poverty. Rupert goes Jerry. To right, Rupert may actually go Poverty. I think that one would be a bit more up for grabs, but for the sake of argument, let's say Jerry. Um, Colby goes Jerry. And uh, Sandra would go poverty, so it would be six to three still. Um, but again, chance of five to four if Rupert switches, which I, I don't think is out of the round possibility considering Rupert was uh, uh, did seem to respect poverty for her challenge ability by the end of it, but like, I don't know if it would have been enough to vote like to not vote with his other heroes, because I do think like the other heroes were pretty locked in on Jerry. 
Again, you got Colby, JT, Amanda, who I think will all like pretty locked in. Jerry votes. Mm, how do I think do I? Uh, how well do I think Jerry would do in Modern Survivor? Um, I think she'd do fine. Like I, I would expect her to do pretty well on a returning season. Um. I, I think she still has like potential to be an early boot, but still, I I, I think she uh, has potential. Parvi Jerry uh, Colby, um, I'm mean, one that was never happening, right? I like because like there's no way Russell wasn't getting it to the end, but um, you know, for the sake of argument, so like what? Coach goes Jerry. Courtney goes Parvati. JT goes Colby. So it's 1 1 1. Amanda goes Colby. So 2 1 1. Um, Candace probably goes Jerry? I don't know. It's kind of a fucked vote, but I guess let's just say Jerry. 2 2 1. Um, Danielle goes Parvati. 2 2 2. Rupert goes Colby, 3 2 2. Um, then what? Russell and Sandra. Sandra goes Poverty. So 3 3. Wait, 3 3 2? Is that what? Yeah. And then Russell uh, probably goes Poverty, right? So Poverty probably wins in like a weird plurality vote. But again, that's that scenario is never happening. And even then, it's like, that's definitely not a scenario the bank on is a weird plurality vote. Where even then, it's like, if Jerry knows that poverty could win, then maybe she'll say, fuck it, I'm going to vote for Colby. And then that messes everything up anyway. And at that point, that would make um, it, what, a four? Yeah, four, four, one to where Jerry becomes the deciding vote and Jerry would vote Colby. So, again, it, it's all over the place. Uh, imagine if Carla, Jesse, Sammy are final three. Um, that would be something. It's not happening, but that would be something. Uh, if Tyson didn't switch his vote, do I think he would have a chance of winning? Yes. He would have a massive chance of winning. Um, I'm really, he was like, on the villain's tribe, he was probably the best positioned, especially for a potential merge scenario where. Um, like, obviously, he had his lines with Boston Rob. He had Coach on his side, which through Coach, he had Jerry. Uh, he also had the connection to Russell before Russell blindsided him. Um, but again, if he got Parvati out in that situation, like, he's golden. Uh, to where he can already pull over the majority if he wanted to and flip the vote on Boston Rob, which he probably wouldn't have. But um, even that, like, coming to the merch, he has JT uh, on his side there. Um Really, he would be in the position where he could pull the trigger on Boss Rob at any, like, at any point that he would want to. Uh, the question is, like, would he pull the trigger at the right time, and uh, would it not backfire on him immediately afterwards? Like, I think that's the question. And, like, to be fair, that's exactly what happened on Token Chains, where obviously he flips against Brendan, only for him to be taken out immediately afterwards. Like, I would not be that surprised if he does a similar thing. Uh, though, also, it's like you would expect him to have learned from that, to where, like, maybe he would do it a bit later. But then again, like, if he does it later, then, like, is Boston Rob, like, on a comp run or, like, something weird? Like, again, you never really know. But I think he definitely would have had a lot of win potential. Um, yeah, Jeremy versus Kelly is interesting, though. I think we've kind of, like, mapped out all the votes for that. So I feel like, like, the most interesting scenarios are ones where we really, like, don't know who would win. Where we don't know where a lot of votes would go. We're like Kelly and Jeremy, we like we know where like most of the votes go. It's just it's like Joe is the swing, is essentially where it's at. Where we know that Kelly has um what was it? Kelly has Keith, Kimmy, Abby, Sierra, Cass locked. Five votes. Jeremy has Steven, Spencer, um, Andrew Savage, Kelly Wigglesworth locked. That's four votes. Joe becomes the swing. So Joe, if he votes Kelly, obviously that's a six to four win. If he votes 
Jeremy, Tasha becomes the tie, and Tasha votes Jeremy. Um, so, and we like we know where the votes go on there, like in that scenario, outside of where does Joe go? Um, Cassie says she'll vote for Jeremy. I don't think she said that over Kelly. Uh, what was Jeff's excuse for can? I mean, he didn't really have one. <laughs> Again, watch the uh, watch the Jeff Cass assessment for Here's the Villains. It's really funny. But you see, he was like talking about how um, you know many people saw the mutiny as a villainous move. We saw the heroic one. It's like what what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> like what does that mean? Um, yeah, I mean, essentially, it's like, obviously, because, like, they changed at the last second. <laughs> because, uh, again, like, I, but again, it also makes no sense that Parvi was supposed to be a hero. Like, that makes no fucking sense, but supposedly that is what, like, according to Candace, at least, that is what happened. Is that Candace um, was supposed to be a villain. She um, got all, the, like, a whole bunch of red clothing. And then they told her on location that, yeah, you're going to need blue clothing. And then made her change. Uh, well, the five five tied as goes on go down season ranking. Maybe I, I think it's a worse season. I don't know if it necessarily drops any from season ranking. Like I, I think it's like it's not enough to probably like really change its position. Because I mean, at the end of the day, it's still a Dom versus Wendell like battle at the end. But. Yeah, I mean, I, I like, I think like no matter like if it was maybe like a unanimous Dom vote at the end, then like yeah, I think it's like definitely changes things. But like considering it, like if it was like a six to four, like I don't think that really changes much. Will Justine be forgettable? I, I think so. Uh, one of what if videos that Keith wins against Spencer and Tasha four three three. Um, I mean, yeah, but like that's the thing with like what if scenarios just in general is that you'd never really know because like all this is like dependent on like like it's like uh, I think we have to assume that they're gonna vote on um like I I think like when. Uh, it's like to actually like talk through every single like little like possibility. Oh, maybe this person could flip on uh, if they knew about this. And like at that point, like you're just talking about like a billion different scenarios. Um, yeah, yeah, it's almost four o'clock. Um, which again, two for it's like outside of the last couple of days, I've been staying up to like five anyway. So it's like whatever. Um, But, yeah, I think we'll probably end here, though. So, yeah, we'll be back on, uh, I guess it'll be Wednesday. Yeah, I, I don't intend on streaming the next couple days. Like, the only way I would have streamed tomorrow is if God of if I didn't finish God of War, which obviously I did. And then um, Tuesday, Plague Tale comes out, so I want to play uh, Plague Tale. So, yeah, there's that. And then, uh, yeah, so Wednesday we'll be back. I guess we'll start Heavy Rain. I think that's probably the plan. And, yeah. Uh, obviously, Survivor. We'll have, actually, we'll, we'll have a decent amount of stuff, right? Survivor, uh, Genius Netherlands, Amazing Race, Real Love Boat. I love the Real Love Boat. Um, I, I can't wait to see what... I, I can't even remember people's names anymore. <laughs> Whatever. Um, uh, what else is there? I feel like there's something else I'm forgetting. Oh, cha well, challenge I won't watch, but uh, that is a thing. I'll obviously watch more BB4. Uh, I'll probably have played some Plague Tale. I'll, uh, yeah, there'll be stuff to talk about. So, uh, yeah, see you guys then. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching.